Suffering from this condition are prone to project their own disorders onto others. According to Mad Max the Car Czar's website, you're out of your mind if you're not taking advantage of these low, low prices. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Dial toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online at freetalklive.com. The us includes me, Ian. Me, Johnny Ray. And Mark. And we've got Skype, by the way. You may Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. So feel free to reach out that way if you prefer. In fact, I prefer because usually you'll sound a lot better. If you call via Skype, but again, our regular phone lines are 855-450-FREE. The headlines are everywhere uh, right now. The Ebola case uh, allegedly in the United States. Of course, there's been news recently about sort of a uh, difficulty with Ebola big time in uh, some parts of Africa. And so obviously people are freaking, are going to freak out uh, about this. I mean, there's folks posting this everywhere on Facebook. That's where I first saw it. It's at the top of the Drudge Report etc. Uh, the story is from ABC News that the Well, this ha happens about every year, is that about right? What an Ebola case in the No, US? the H1N1 bird flu. Oh, some kind of freak e out. Ebola whatever freak out there's always some medical freak out yeah um, going on and was it like mad cow disease once mad right? cow disease that's another good one yep yeah. i i'd forgot that crutchfield jacobs d uh, d syndrome or whatever it's called um yeah i mean it, it happens all the time it's the thing that the media gets to uh sort of drum the uh beat the drum about and consider for a second i i'm not a conspiracy theorist but when you start trotting out reasons to keep the state, one of them will be we must have the state because that way the st the CDC can lock down the borders mm -hmm. when the next big plague hits. Well, that's what and I the saw. plague hasn't hit yet. Well, that's what I saw on Facebook when uh, a friend of mine posted a news story about this Ebola case in the United States. One of the first comments from someone i didn't know was that's what we we need to have the border patrol get down there we need to bring put the troops on the border and stop everyone from coming in here that's right <laughs> and oh it was it was also uh drug resistant tuberculosis remember that one that yeah, one was going right. to wipe us leprosy. all leprosy yeah leprosy that's another one i've heard yeah. that one coming down from the border there's always something out there um that's you know the the next big thing right have you guys heard about the rumors of Ebola being a bioweapon that has escaped from a U.S. A biological weapons facility. I've heard that one. Yeah. Have you heard that one, Mark? Yes. Um, I, that's one of the things that they're being that you know, sort of the rumors that are spreading in Africa, though. I don't. Buy I, it. I believe it. I, I believe don't. It. No, you I haven't, don't. I haven't researched it, but I believe it. <laughs> of course, crap. Um, you, I don't believe you. I don't believe that you believe it. <laughs> You because know, if this is a bioweapon, it's a pretty terrible bioweapon, right? It's not really that contagious. And that's one of the things I wanted to cover here today. They've got smallpox at the CDC. You're aware of that, right? Like, if they want to go get you, they can just release that. They've had, uh, they've actually found, I've seen a news story recently where the bubonic plague has been found again. Whoa. If they want to let something go, you is know. Is that the Black Death? Yes, that was it was from fleas though, and I don't think it's going to spread as well as it used to. If they want some aerosol, aerosolized uh, killer, I'm sure they can find it. They can uh, all they really need to do is juice up the flu. That kills that kills a lot of people. The flu will kill more people mm. in the United States than Ebola will kill in the world. That's I think a fairly that's a fair prediction. But you yeah. will see nothing about that on the news. More people will well, be. They still tell people to get there, get your flu shot, that kind of thing. <laughs> I've never they, gotten a flu shot. They tell you to do that, but flu shots make me incredibly ill. So, And then people will call in and say, no, you're wrong. The flu shot didn't make you ill. All right, so when you saw the Ebola headlines, are you were you frightened? Do you know about Ebola? Because I honestly didn't know much about Ebola. I'd seen the headlines over, you know, something terrible is happening in Africa. And I just thought, oh, that's that's horrifying. I'm sorry to hear that for, for those folks, but it didn't really concern me. And, of course, when I saw the headlines like, Ebola case discovered in the United States. Well, I went and I looked, what is Ebola anyway? Well, we can find that out for you here in a moment. We'll share a little bit more from uh, Wikipedia about that. They touch on it here in the ABC News article. But they, uh, the word is that the first Ebola case has been diagnosed in the United States. 
But don't worry, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's to Dr. Tom Friedman says there is no doubt we will stop it here. The patient apparently left Liberia on September 10th, arrived in the United States on September 20th, sought medical help on September 27th, and was put in isolation on September 28th. Tests confirming Ebola came back today. And uh, let's see, they the White House was even briefed about this. I don't know why this stuff is not... It, hey, Mr. President, did you hear somebody in uh, Texas got Ebola? Frieden stressed the patient was not sick on departure from Liberia or upon arrival in the U.S., and the disease can only be contacted by someone excuse me, contracted by someone exhibiting symptoms of the disease. I think they mean contracted from someone exhibiting symptoms of the disease. And um, well, that's um, not optimal. The Ebola virus disease, according to Wikipedia, or Ebola hemorrhagic fever, or simply Ebola, is a disease of humans and other primates caused by an Ebola virus. Symptoms start two days to three weeks after contracting uh, the virus with a fever, sore throat, muscle pain, and headaches. Sounds like the flu. Typically, vomiting, diarrhea, and rash follow, along with decreased function of the liver and kid kidneys. Around this time, affected people may begin to bleed, both within the body and externally. The virus may be acquired upon contact with blood or bodily fluids of an infected animal. So basically, so long as you don't have sex with or do blood brothers or something with uh, someone who has Ebola, you're likely not going to get it. Uh, it, it. It has never been documented to have spread through the air, so... You don't have to worry about that. That's the big scary one, right? Like right. if something is, you know, if you cough and then somebody else catches something that could kill them, that would be a scary bioweapon. Ebola, the, probably the not a bioweapon. The term for that is aerosol, aerosolized. Yeah. Fruit bats, they say, are believed to be a carrier and may spread the virus without being affected, uh, or rather affected. Once human infection occurs, the disease may spread between people as well, as was mentioned with blood or bodily fluids. Male survivors may be able to transmit the disease via semen for nearly two months. That's if you survive Ebola. Uh, to make the diagnosis, typically other diseases with similar symptoms such as malaria, cholera, and other viral hemorrhagic fevers are first excluded. And to confirm said diagnosis, blood samples are tested. So, so they've been working on a serum for that. Though um, they 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 go and get the blood of people who have survived and create a uh, you know somehow isolate the antibodies out of mm. it, create a serum. They've had what appears to be success. I mean, obviously you don't you don't know science until you see science. But frankly, when you've got Ebola, you probably don't care that much about science. Just get me something that might work. Prevention includes decreasing the spread of disease from infected animals to humans. This may be done by checking such animals for infection and killing and properly disposing of the bodies if the disease is discovered. Properly cooking meat and wearing protective clothing while handling meat may also be helpful, as are wearing protective clothing and washing hands when around a person with the disease. Samples of bodily fluids and tissues from people with the disease should be handled with special caution. So, really, this is obviously not a bioweapon because it doesn't spread very effectively. Uh, the only way that this victim of Ebola could spread the Ebola is for you to have sex with them or for them to bleed into uh, onto you and possibly into an open uh, wound or a cut or something like that. So not really something that needs to be trumpeted from the headlines as though this is you know, some sort of scary thing that could infect everyone. That's just not the case. It, that's the way it seems to me. I've uh, been watching it for some time. I'm not scared. According to the Wikipedia page specifically related to the 2014 Ebola outbreak in West Africa, about 1,500 people have died. Yikes. So, yeah, that's a lot, but but maybe not uh, to be blaring from the headlines. 1,500 people in the in this whole 2014 outbreak is uh, is not how, how many people do we lose on the highways every year 30,000 quite a bit like um, that. cigarette smoking alcohol i mean this contributes to a lot more death but also i'm wondering how does <laughs> smoking the, smoking your cigarette while you uh, look at the internet and worry about ebola wh why um, <laughs> now is there any idea johnny ray on on how 1500 people did get it i mean were they all having sex with one another over time and they didn't know they were infected uh, was it sharing needles? I mean, so I'm wondering, what, did, they, did they eat some sort of beast that had not been properly cooked? That sex had happens, Ebola? man. Um, yeah. That sex happens. Sex happens. No I doubt. suspect that's what we're talking about here. Uh, the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases is located in Sierra Leone, Ian. That's 
That's how they all got it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Toll-free number. You dial in here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. ISIS videos coming up. Are you living with pain? I was after a nasty fall. I got relief with one-hour pain relief. I'm Barry Yarconi, president, and here's Lisa, a Marine who was injured in Iraq. After surviving an explosion, I was on horrible painkillers for lingering head, shoulder, back, and knee pain. But I hated the dangers and side effects. My friend told me about one-hour pain relief, and now I'm off the drugs. One-hour pain relief is the result of 15 years of research on an amazing extract from hops, the plant used to flavor beer. Whether your pain is from an injury or just aging, you get safe, all-day relief in less than one hour. Get a free one-week trial for just the small shipping charge. Call 800-900-1221 right now or visit onehourpainrelief.com. There's no gimmicks, no obligation, no automatic shipments. Stop living with pain. Call 800-900-1221 or visit onehourpainrelief.com. That's 800-900-1221 or onehourpainrelief.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. If you're looking for work, the person you are applying to may be even more nervous than you are. And the way things are now, your references have never been more important. Here are three tips. First, know that employers are checking. Every hire is under the microscope these days. Second, they won't just be checking references you provide. Figure that all of your ex-employers will get a call and be asked, would you hire him or her again? Third, assume you will be Googled. So before you apply, remove all those party animal photos from your Facebook page. Even if you're not in the job market, effective communication skills have never been more important. With money and attention so scarce now. For more tips for job seekers and getting better results in all your day-to-day -day communication, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can dial toll-free here to 855-453. That's 1-855-450-3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com, enjoy the features 
that we share with you. They are all completely free. So once again, that's freetalklive.com. Mark, we're big fans of alternative currencies here on Free Talk Live. You know you can get gold and silver from our friends over at Midas Resources by going to gold.freetalklive.com. Gold and silver, long time, hedges against inflation, valued all around the world. Great alternative currencies. I've got some you probably should have some too. Something else you might want to consider getting is some Bitcoin as well, another world-changing alternative currency that is uh, right now taking the world by storm. Many big companies are taking Bitcoin. Wikipedia is doing another fundraiser right now, and they accept Bitcoin, although you have to do a little digging. I was a little disappointed. I was on the Wikipedia site earlier, and they got one of their fundraiser banners sort of along the bottom of the page, and it gives you like credit card and PayPal and something else, but the something else is in Bitcoin. And then you kind of have to click into the other options area and then scroll all the way down. So Wikipedia is taking Bitcoin, but they're not putting it out there on Front Street, so to speak. But more and more places are accepting Bitcoin, even local mom and pop stores. And it's an exciting decentralized currency, not issued by any government or any bank. Uh, and so it's pretty amazing stuff. How can our listeners get some? Well, you can get uh, Bitcoin and several other cryptocurrencies over at ExpressCoin. Dot com, Whether it's Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin, you can do it in the United States or Canada. Um, you can get your cryptocurrencies with a money order, check, or wire transfer, or, and I think this is really the best option in my opinion, you can go to a local credit union, make a deposit. As long as they have shared branching, you make a deposit in an account uh, there, and you will have your cryptocurrency within a business day. I've done lots of business with, uh, with ExpressCoin, and I recommend them highly. They're completely legal, inexpensive, easy, fast. Uh, you don't have anything to worry about in dealing with them. It's ExpressCoin.com. You can do it from your smartphone by downloading the app at ExpressCoin.com um, and use coupon code FTL to get uh, up to $40, a purchase of up to $40 with no fee at all. Just use coupon code FTL at ExpressCoin.com. It's a great way to get cryptocurrencies, and right now is a real buying opportunity. I'm looking at the price of uh, Bitcoin right now. Sub 400, right? It's sub 400, and I don't think we're ever going to see this again. Well, you, your predictions are worth wrong. nothing. Yeah. Uh, you well, you would have said something this, something like that about it being below 500 a few months ago. I would have. So don't listen to what Mark has to say, but the, a good idea is what I, I think Mark, Johnny Ray has done in the past. I don't know if you still are, but uh, at some point, Johnny Ray, you were buying consistently 10% of your paycheck into Bitcoin regardless of what the price is. Because to me, the, the real problem with buying Bitcoin is you always like when you're buying some sort of investment that can go up or down in price and you don't know what's going to happen with Bitcoin. When you're doing that, it, you, you're always second-guessing yourself. Oh, should I wait? Should I wait? Should I buy now? Should I wait? Because mm -hmm. if I wait, it could go lower, but it could also go higher. And with the 10%, that sort of discipline buying, there's I don't know if there's a name for that, but I like that the discipline there is it doesn't matter to you what the price is. You buy a certain amount on a regular basis, and over time, you know, there's a certain price that it would average out to be, whatever that happens to be. But But that way you're not second guessing yourself and you're just buying some bitcoin that way at the end of the day at the end of the month at the end of the year you've got bitcoin as opposed to not having it because you've been just f fearfully not doing anything well it's know? my opinion anything anything below a thousand dollars is a bargain still on bitcoin and on bitcoin i really do believe that they're going that it's going to be a tremendously valuable inside of five years so that's my opinion. It's called uh, dollar cost averaging, Ian. Thank you. I appreciate that. Technique of buying a fixed dollar amount of a particular investment on a regular schedule, regardless of the share price. More shares are purchased when prices are low, and fewer shares are bought when prices are high. Oh, oh like and, and uh, uh, last segment when we were talking about Ebola, I yeah. misrepresented the, the number of deaths. It's higher, about uh, twice what I said. So about 3,000 3, people? Yes. And the... The further reading I did didn't give any clue as to why something that is ostensibly so hard to transmit is being transmitted so well, rapidly. It's not hard and to transmit if you have sex, right? Like, uh, so you're or not maybe gonna... eating bush meat. Yeah. So if you're not eating safely cooked meat, that's another possible possibility. So you know, contacting things physically with Ebola, transmitting bodily fluids with those things will possibly get you Sanita Ebola. Sanitation was a, a real problem in Western countries up until a hundred years ago, maybe even less than that, um, less than that. And 
I mean, you know, that's probably what we're dealing with here to some extent. Right. So I mean, I wish it wasn't the case. I wish everybody could live in, you know, palatial middle class homes uh, with great running water and, uh, you know, great sewer and all those other things is sadly they do not. Yeah, and and again, it's probably sex that has transmitted and this. Once, and then once it's brought into the home, then you know, nose wiping and th- all those things go on too, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so but again, it's not something you really have to worry about unless you're going to come in physical bodily fluid contact with somebody who has this. And right now in the United States, there's one identified case. But what I wasn't clear on in reading about Ebola is, you know, how long does it take? You obviously have initial symptoms. You know, the Wikipedia story was was telling us about those. There are some initial symptoms, but those would, you know, seem like symptoms of the flu. It won't necessarily, you won't, you know, necessarily think you have Ebola from getting the initial symptoms. It's when you start bleeding internally and, you know, other things. That's, that'll let you know. A little more serious. Um, and by that time, if you've had sex with people within, you know, let's say it's a week that it takes to get, to, I don't know. I don't know what the amount of time is, but there's obviously some amount of, you know, gestation time or whatever you want to term it. Um, if you're having sex with people within that period of time, you're probably contagious there. So maybe, you know, maybe that's what has gone on is there's been people that have had sex and they didn't know they had Ebola. And so then they transmitted the Ebola through uh, through the sexual activity. But your comments are certainly welcome. And by the way, we are listened to in West Africa uh, via our free to air satellite feed. If anyone is there who would like to comment Feel free to contact us on Skype. Our Skype username it's is probably pretty late there, huh? LRN.fm. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's at least past midnight over there right now. Uh, but if you would like to comment, you're welcome to do so wherever you are. Let's go to Alex in St. George. And then coming up, we've got an ISIS video, another one. This one doesn't involve a beheading. In fact, there have been a few that haven't involved beheading. They just have been trying to get information out. Uh, more propaganda or propaganda, I guess. We'll uh, get into that here. Alex, you're on Free Talk Live from St. George. Hey, guys. Hey, I just Alex. wanted to offer uh, input on why or possible reasons why the virus contracts there in Africa. Um, from what I understand, there's a ritual where you kiss the dead at a burial, burial service, and a lot oh, of the uh, culture there, they don't necessarily, you know, listen to the advice of the doctors. They don't have very much trust there, so they contract a lot of times that way. Wow. Okay. Kissing the dead could be a really bad habit. Might want to break that. Yeah, I recommend against this. Thanks for sharing that. Anything else you want to throw out there? No, that's it. Thanks, Alex, for the call tonight. Brian's in Wyoming. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Brian. Yeah. Hi, guys. I I think you're possibly maybe throwing out some misinformation there on um, Ebola. Okay. Um, it, I mean, it, it really is a lot easier to control. Huh? Are you still there? Brian? Hello? Uh, yeah, you just kind of faded out there for a moment. You're saying it's easier to contract than we were making it out to be? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, you don't, I mean, you can contract it through sex, Stand of by, I want you to tell me more about that here in a moment. Apparently, you could kiss the dead and possibly contract it that way. More coming up. We'll see what Brian has to say. Take your calls as well. Free Talk Live. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. Next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Spare fuel can be used in any gas-powered vehicle or generator. Spare fuel is perfect for any unforeseen out-of-gas emergencies. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel is safe to store with your other supplies, and it can be stored for many years. Go to GetSpareFuel.com for special pricing. That's GetSpareFuel.com. Free Talk Live. Wait till you hear the least popular girl's name in 2004. We'll start with Rack. 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 <laughs> Crumpet. Crumpet. Well, Crumpet's kind of funny. Someone named their little girl Willie. Willie. Cannelloni. 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 Lasagna. Mmm. Tasty. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Biff. <laughs> yeah, Biff. The These least are girls popular names. name. <laughs> For the, the least popular name. These of are all made up, folks. Do I don't not care. believe this nonsense. This is not news. I don't care. <laughs> I haven't laughed this much all week. Oh. This may be my favorite. Rumpy Pumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how could you think that one up? I mean, if you were faking this list, I could understand that you could fake Donald Duck or Scrooge or or Pork. But how do you think of Rumpy, Rumpy Pumpy? Pumpy? Rumpy Pumpy. R-U-M-P-E-P-U-M-P-E-E. Rumpy Pumpy. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated, so send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. So if you're on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. We also have other pain relieving braces too for your shoulder, ankle, or back. You may be eligible to get these items and more at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to help you, so please call now. 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. We're talking about the Ebola virus There are big headlines all over the place right now because somebody's got it within the United States. But is it really as scary as the media would like to make it out to be? Obviously, they want to make it sound scary because, well, they want you to hang through a commercial break and watch their next news report, which, of course, we'd like you to do, too. Uh, But we're not interested in scaring you. I want to give information that hopefully will put those fears to rest. Uh, Because, to me, it doesn't really seem to be that scary doesn't really seem to be very easily transmittable but let's find out what brian thinks here he says he says we might have gotten some information uh, wrong and that's certainly possible our toll-free number is 855-450 free i remember seeing a, a picture one of the pictures of the maps they have in the newspaper um at one point and it, it would like it really had like icicles hanging from the center of the country and like fire in florida and fire in um like the the, the west coast area map? It, you know, it was just showing sort of some of the problems like mudslides and oh, okay. you know tornadoes i mean it really had <laughs> like it was just a, it was a map of death was, yeah. and destruction, and I'm like, God, these people are so transparently uh, you know, bombastic. Yeah. It, hey, by the way, we're going to get to Brian's thoughts here in a moment, but I also want to let you know about Pro XPN because privacy matters online, and if you care about privacy, you've got to take steps to protect it, and Pro XPN should be one of those steps. ProXPN.com slash FTL. You go there. Download their free software. It's available for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices as well. Linux users, setup's a little different, but you can get ProXPN working pretty easily with Linux as well. You go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. You get started, get connected with ProXPN, and at that point, your internet is encrypted. 
uh, meaning that your internet service provider will no longer have any idea what it is you're doing. Essentially, your ProXPN software encrypts your data, sends it to ProXPN servers, where it is then decrypted and sent out to the rest of the internet. So you bypass your internet service provider having any clue of what you're doing. Right now, they're probably recording everything you do. They're probably logging all the websites you visit and every search term that you enter, in some cases keeping those logs up to five years. You can stop that from happening with ProXPN. Plus, ProXPN, with their premium account, you get a limited bandwidth servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent and even get past regionally blocked websites. So get started at ProXPN.com slash FTL. To get the premium account, you can upgrade with code FTL50 to get 50% off the price of the annual account. That breaks the price down to uh, around $5 per month. Or use code FTLBTC and then pay with Bitcoin, and you'll get 62% off the price of the annual account. So big discounts on privacy that is priceless. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. And you get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Plus, ProXPN doesn't keep records of your online habits at all. So those codes are FTL50 and FTLBTC at ProXPN.com slash FTL. Now, Brian is in Wyoming with us here. We just heard a moment ago that apparently uh, one of the possible methods that uh, Ebola has spread so quickly in West Africa is through a ritual involving kissing the dead. Uh, but there are some other ideas here we'll share with you here in a moment. But, Brian, you said we might have been misinforming, or go ahead with your thoughts. Do we have Brian in Wyoming? Brian in Wyoming. Yeah, this is, hello? Hi, you're on the air. Yeah, the, I'm not trying to say this is the zombie apocalypse or anything like that. I just wanted to clear up maybe a couple Let's of facts clear it that up. I know of. Yeah, please. Yeah, is well, um, it is it is transmitted through saliva, Mm-hmm. which I think, you know, that's pretty much what's happening in Africa is people sneezing and, you know, I wasn't aware of that ritual of um, kissing the dead. But, you know, it does spread, you know, through blood and saliva. But there, e- Ebola, there's not just one form of Ebola either. Um, there's, you know, there's been one um, even back in the 80s that uh, transmitted through a research facility where um, the monkeys came down with it. And so basically, they quarantined they quarantined off all the monkeys, and then the the government came and killed off all the monkeys in that one area, because they didn't think it was um, able to spread through the air. And what happened was then a, another section of monkeys started all dying. So they ended up having to shut down the whole facility. And the only way that they could tell that, that it had spread was through the ventilation system. Actually, they they made a movie called, I think it was starting like Dustin Hoffman or something like that, called Outbreak mm-hmm. back in the 90s or something. But that really did happen back in the 80s. And then um, not too long ago, um, they actually had an, uh, they were testing Ebola on monkeys again uh, up in Canada. And um, what happened was the, 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 the monkeys were all dying, so you know. So they took care of the monkeys, and then all of the pigs. Mark could maybe be familiar with that. Um, the the pigs actually came down with Ebola. So the only way that the, that these scientists could figure out that it could spread was from, you know, through the air from the monkeys to the pigs. So you know, as far as I know, you know, this this whole thing that's going on right now is not. It, it's you know, it's it's not like an airborne. Form, you know, I don't think from what I've read, but you have to realize that it does have like a, a 21 day gestation period, which means you could be infected with it and you might just think you have a cold. Right. And yeah. And then, then and then you sneeze or whatever. And then, you know, that that sneeze gets on somebody or something. That's that's how it's spreading there in Africa. That's how colds right spread. Now. What's that? That's how colds and flu spread. Yeah, exactly, and and that that's how it's spreading there, and you know that's that's why the the doctors, I mean, you know how they're bringing the doctors back here to the United States. That's why they're that's why they're getting it, is because you know they were thinking just like Ian was saying before. That's the only reason I called was well, he was saying, oh, doctors yeah, well, are coming they, into contact with a lot more fluids than you and I would come in contact with, right? Oh yeah, 
Yeah, of, of, of course, of course. But this is not just spreading through sexual contact. Oh, that's not that all we were saying. We said uh, we said it too many times. I, I would agree that we probably should have talked about other <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. well, no, we were we, we did say it spreads through bodily fluids, and uh, obviously, yeah, sex like, is like, one saliva, of the most common so. ways that people transmit bodily fluids. Yeah, but but no, but you can you can literally catch this this strain of Ebola that's you know getting ready to shut down a whole entire you know, African nation off of just sneezing. So it's got a 21-day gestation period, which means you might not even know you have it for 21 days. That That's what, you know, that's why people can go around and why it's so dangerous. But well, I just Brian, wanted to thank you up. for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. I'm not a doctor. Do the research. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, certainly we're just a talk show and nobody here's an expert. We're just reading Wikipedia. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Thanks for the call tonight. But yeah, I, you know, we did say that it was bodily fluids. And in fact, when you go a little further in the Wikipedia story here, uh, and this is about this this particular entry is on the Ebola virus disease, uh, which apparently is, you know, one of the Ebola viruses out there. Human to human transmission can occur via direct contact with blood or bodily fluids from an infected person, uh, including embalming of an infected dead person, or by contact with objects contaminated by the virus, particularly needles and syringes. So I suggested maybe sharing needles could be a factor. Uh, the potential for widespread Ebola virus uh, or EVD, Ebola, Ebola virus disease infections, is considered low as the disease is only spread by direct contact with the secretions from someone who is showing signs of infection. The symptoms limit a person's ability to spread the disease as they're often too sick to travel. Because dead bodies are still infectious, local traditional burial rituals may spread the disease. Nearly two-thirds of cases in Ebola in Guinea during the 2014 outbreak are believed to be due to burial practices. So I would love to know this burial practice. Well, washing, the, Maybe it's the dead, ki dead kissing that we're talking about. Washing bodies by hand is what I'm reading in National Geographic. Okay. Semen may be infectious in survivors for up to three months. It's not entirely clear how an Ebola outbreak is initially started. The initial infection is believed to occur after Ebola virus is transmitted to a human by contact with an infected animal's bodily fluids. So, uh, does that mean that this was started by someone having sex with an animal? Could be. Or some kind of uh, butchering practice butchering. that was uh, was unclean. You know, if you're not if you're not doing the proper protection during the butchering of an animal that has Ebola virus, then that could start the infection up. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. But it's not saying that sneezing has been the cause of uh, the issue there. It's saying two-thirds in Guinea during 2014 were due to the burial practices. More coming up. Is the Federal Reserve System a bunch of organized crooks? Ron Paul, G. Edward Griffin, Edwin Vieira, and Ted Bear discuss the Fed in the Telly Award winning movie Fiat Empire. Why the Federal Reserve violates the U.S. Constitution. Inspired by the best selling book, The Creature from Jekyll Island, Fiat Empire is now available as a two DVD set at moviepubs.net, realityzone.com, and newswithviews.com. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. Have you heard? Proactive Plus is faster and better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. Do you have troubled skin? Acne? Well, we have great news. With Proactive Plus, your acne can heal and you can help prevent new breakouts from happening. Don't miss this limited time offer. Give us a call at 800-538-5252 because we're going to let a million people try Proactive Plus risk-free and get two free gifts and also receive free shipping when you call right now. You heard it. This offer won't last long. So call Proactive Plus now and you'll receive a 60-day risk-free trial of Proactive Plus, two free extras, and free shipping. Call 800-538-5252. This is our exclusive radio offer, never on TV. 
Get your risk-free 60-day trial of Proactive Plus with free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Don't wait. Call 800-538-5252. That's 800-538-5252. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Coming up, the ISIS propaganda videos. We really haven't talked about these yet. Uh, They've been in my show prep for the last couple of weeks, and now they're on their third video. We haven't played one of them yet. Uh, I do want to get to that when we get a chance. Your calls are the primary element, however, so you may dial in and bring up anything. Right now, Ebola is on the table for discussion. Is this a scary thing? Uh, Should people be freaking out? Because right now the headlines certainly make it look like people should be. I mean, this is the top story, it seems, all over the place at the moment, is that there's been an Ebola case in the United States. But do you really need to be scared about this? Or is it just something you should be aware of how this thing works? Is it as dangerous as the news media might have you believe by the alarmist method of their communicating this news story? Well, Americans love to feel safe. I mean, that's the I don't know if it's how it is around the rest of the world, but it's it's really important to Americans. Um, When you consider that so many other things in life in in the United States are much more dangerous than Ebola is likely to be, then... I think it helps put it in perspective. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, So we're going to continue here with your calls and thoughts, but we're also sharing some information. The, of course, Wikipedia news story, or not news story, but the Wikipedia article about Ebola virus disease, a.k.a. Ebola hemorrhagic fever, EVD or EHF, uh, is very, I think, informative and useful to, uh, to learn a thing or two about. It is bodily fluids and blood that is the method of transmission here our last caller suggested that simple sneezes could transmit ebola and i don't doubt that that is true the claim here in the article however says that it's burial practices in Af- in africa and in, in guinea specifically the 2014 outbreak claim here is that nearly two-thirds of the cases are believed to be due to burial practices um mm. in addition to that Uh, They say here one of the primary reasons for spread is that the health systems in the part of Africa where the disease occurs are functioning poorly. Medical workers 
who do not wear appropriate protective clothing may contract the disease. Hospital-acquired transmission has occurred in African countries due to the reuse of needles oh boy. and lack of universal precautions. Some healthcare centers that are caring for people with this disease do not even have running water. So if you have no running water... That I could guess you make, go to the healthcare center you can get, right? That could be, you know, that might make washing one's hands difficult. And you know, it's horrifying to think that you, know, you check into a hospital without Ebola, you could check out with Ebola in, in a situation like that. Well, in the United States, you can do, certainly do it with MRSA. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, th- I think what's worrisome about this is that these Ebola outbreaks are usually sort of confined to a village or some some small area out in the country, and they rarely spread like this has spread mm-hmm. across borders, uh, several four or five countries. And, uh, you know, I'm still a little worried. You guys have not allayed my fears of Ebola yet. Well, I don't see you wearing a face mask. <laughs> Uh, airborne transmission has not been documented during EVD outbreaks. That's Ebola virus disease. They are, however, infectious as breathable uh, 0.8 to 1.2. There's a little U symbol. Is that micro? Yes. Something Micro M? Micro, I don't know what that stands for. Laboratory generated droplets. Oh, the, I think that's a micrometer. Yeah, it's very small. The virus has been shown to travel without contact from pigs to primates. Although the same study failed to demonstrate similar transmission between non-human primates. Bats drop partially eaten fruits and pulp. Then land mammals, such as gorillas, uh, feed on these fallen fruits. This chain of events forms a possible indirect means of transmission from the natural host to animal populations, which has led to research towards viral shedding of the saliva of bats. Fruit production, animal behavior, and other factors vary at different times in places that may trigger outbreaks among animal populations. So definitely don't want to get bitten by a fruit bat. That could lead to to Ebola. I've managed to make it 43 years without that. Uh, James in Jacksonville, Florida. Don't kiss any dead people. Don't handle uh, dead bodies, especially of people that have Ebola. And, And also don't have sex with people that have Ebola. And try to stay away from someone who's sneezing with Ebola. Now, one thing that our caller earlier said is that there's like a 21-day gestation period for this thing where it's transmittable. The Wikipedia story here, and again, it's just Wikipedia. They have what they claim are citations on all these claims. So do you believe the claims in Wikipedia or the claims of a caller? I don't know. You should do your own research. Uh, but the claim here is that the disease is spread by direct contact with secretions from someone who's showing signs of infection. Now, I don't know if a sign of infection is a sneeze. <laughs> so it's eh, still... You want to be careful. James is in Jacksonville. You're on uh, Free Talk Live. Hello, James. Yes. Yeah. Um. Your previous caller was absolutely right. And the one where he was talking about the scientists in Canada, I don't know if he you know, said it good, but they were totally isolated from each other, the pigs and the monkeys. Mm-hmm. And I remember when that article came out back in 2012, and then it got brought up about three months ago, and everyone was like, shut up, fear monger conspiracy theorists but to me like he was saying there's different forms of it so we don't know what it is or how it got here but there was over two there was an article that came out recently it said over 200,000 people are here on visas from Ebola infected countries so you know there's just a lot of different things that I'm concerned about and one of them is the executive order that Obama did where he revised um, George Bush's executive order on quarantinable, commensable diseases, I guess that's how you say it, is where he could literally come in if they think, and, but what he did was he changed it to a respiratory infection. And, you know, that's whatever, oh, you know, that could be anything, but it was literally days before the doctors got here, the first doctors got here. And, you know, he revises where if you have a respiratory, it came out on July 31st this year. So if you want to look it up, it was, well, it's, I'm on whitehouse.gov right now looking at it. Are you saying the concern oh. is that they'll use Ebola as an excuse to shut down uh, areas of the United States? Yeah, martial law. And another Do thing. Do you really think about, they need Ebola for martial law? I mean, don't you think no, the most they Americans. Don't. They really don't. But another thing I'm worried about is the vaccines, how much money 
is big pharma whoever is going to make on the backside because George Soros is the one that's funding. Well, the first of all, there apparently is no uh, vaccine. Yeah, they're working Ebola. on a serum, but they're not working on a vaccine. Um, oh, yeah, a vaccine. Serums are made that- out of blood. I'm worried that it's going to turn into, you know, I don't know, maybe not. But what I'm concerned with is one thing is that it can turn into, oh, everyone has to get this or you're going to be in a FEMA camp or something. I don't know. I don't know. The whole thing is just crazy that we would even let all this even happen to begin with. What do you mean let all of it happen? What does that mean? You'd let what happen? Yeah, we – Ebola has been going on for a while, and we're still letting people come over here with visas that are from. Oh, I see. You want to see? I I see it as a a conspiracy theory to shut down the borders so that free people can't move to free places freely. I'm sorry, James. Didn't you just you know five sentences ago say you were worried about shutting down uh, swaths of the country and having a police state, and then a moment later you say you want to shut down the border? I mean, aren't you then calling for a police state? What about all the diseases that we haven't seen in 40 years that are spreading through What about this freedom, man? What about freedom the, to travel? The same people you want to be protected from are the ones that are going to do the shutting down of the borders. Do you want Obama and his guards to be the ones that keep you safe by keeping others out while they keep you safe by keeping you in? The safest people in America are in prisons. <laughs> I want them to do why we pay taxes. I don't even think— it's What does that even mean? That, is, that wasn't a responsive answer to Mark's question. They should be guarding the border, yes, because now the borders are wide open. We no, they shouldn't be. Of- if you care about freedom, then we should have borders that are yeah, wide open, and it's ridiculous to say that the borders are wide open. There's all kinds of border patrols and guard open, stations. Have you ever crossed the border? The have you ever now. crossed the border? No. Okay, then you I've don't know what you're talking about. I've been thrown in jail about. for crossing the you, border. You have no idea what you're talking about. Thank you, James, for the call. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I do think a well-planned uh, incursion upon the border will likely work. I think that if you really want to get across, you'll probably get across. Sure, sure. But to say it's wide open is an inaccurate statement. There are guards and there are installations that stop thousands of cars, uh, hundreds of thousands probably every single day in the United States. And it's very inconvenient and it's very detrimental to our freedom to have these bureaucrats being able to stop us and demand where we're going and demand to know why and demand to search our cars. And I'm not okay with that because I like freedom. If you're, yeah, I mean, if you're fr- if you're afraid of what's going on with Ebola, the last people you should pr- trust to protect you from, is, from it is the government. Yeah, I think the borders are kind of wide open because it's impossible to close them and the harder you try to close them the tighter you grasp your fingers the more people are going to slip through it it's unrealistic to close them so you shouldn't try we'll come back with more your thoughts are welcome here at 855 450 free it's free talk live are you scared have you thought about owning gold there are lots of reasons to own precious metals a hedge against inflation when the dollar tanks metals go up A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time, get a free pound to try out the subscription, cancel anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,221, silver opened at $17.54, and Bitcoin is trading around $377.63. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the Kevin Ludlow for Texas State House of Representatives District 46 campaign. In the war on drugs, demilitarize the police, and kick the TSA out of Texas. Explore Kevin Ludlow's platform at Ludlow2014.com. Political advertisement paid for by the Kevin Ludlow campaign. Support also comes from SovereignMiners.com. Interested in mining Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies? Well, Sovereign Miners has you covered. All purchases come with a free script ISIC miner. Visit SovereignMiners.com to buy your miner today. In the news, on Tuesday, the United States and Afghanistan are expected to sign a security agreement that will allow around 9,800 U.S. troops to stay in the country beyond 2014. President Obama is expected to sign the deal with the newly elected Afghan president. Former President Karzai was against signing the agreement because of U.S. airstrikes killing Afghan civilians. Combined with other NATO countries' troops, there is expected to be around 12,000 troops left behind. The plan would remove the troops by 2017. On Friday, the United States Department of Agriculture released their final report on genetically modified wheat that had shown up in unapproved fields in Oregon in 2013. The report states that the incident was isolated and found no evidence of contamination of other commercial crops. The USDA did not reach a conclusion on how the crops found their way into a field not used for testing. The discovery of the wheat sparked temporary suspension of wheat orders from Japan and South Korea. At the same time the report was released, the USDA also announced the discovery of GMO wheat on three acres of the Montana State University's Southern Agricultural Research Center. Judge Stephen P. Rhodes of U.S. Bankruptcy Court ruled that Detroit could continue the city's water shutoff program. Over 20,000 residents have lost access to water due to delinquent accounts. Judge Rhodes states that there was no right to free water and the city could not afford to lose the revenue. The Detroit Water Brigade stated they would pledge their voices and bodies to protect each other where the legal system will not. The group plans to initiate a nonviolent direct action plan in the coming weeks. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud. All natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And today's edition of the Liberty Beat is brought to you by Brave New Books, your source for all things Bitcoin. Now hosting a Bitcoin ATM. Located in Austin, Texas at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online BraveNewBookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. And like us on Facebook at Facebook.com, The Liberty Beat. Antonio Beeler of the Peaceful Streets Project is holding a fundraiser for his lawsuit against the Austin Police Department. Funds raised will go toward depositions and private investigations. With the details, here's Catherine Bleich. Beeler was arrested on New Year's Day in 2012 when he took pictures of two Austin police officers as they assaulted a woman who had not committed a crime. He was charged with the felony harassment of a public official for allegedly spitting in an officer's face, an allegation proven to be untrue by witness testimony and video footage. After the traumatic arrest, Beeler and some friends founded the Peaceful Streets Project. In response, Austin Police Department began to target Antonio for arrest. A Freedom of Information request revealed that Beeler was targeted for arrest in response to his activism. Additionally, the Peaceful Streets Project and other associated groups were labeled as domestic extremists. The Liberty Beat is calling on the police accountability movement to support Antonio's effort to fight against the Austin Police Department. John Bush here, founder of the Liberty Beat. Antonio Beeler's civil case has the potential to expose a deep-rooted conspiracy that took place within Austin Police Department. A conspiracy that attempted to stifle 
and marginalize Antonio Beeler as he pursued his police accountability activism. Let's stand with Antonio and expose Austin Police Department for the corrupt institution it truly is. To donate to Antonio's cause, visit rally.org slash end police abuse. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Roberts and Roberts Brokers Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Now accepting Bitcoin online or rbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. An update now on a legal battle emerging around the Onion News Network's own Jode Kressbeckler. After the shocking story yesterday that a group of assailants attacked Congressman William Cummings, tied him to a horse, and dragged him through a briar patch, some are now saying these statements from Mr. Kressbeckler last week may have incited the attack. Boat-legging Congressman Cummings ought to be tied to a horse and drugged through a briar patch. Mr. Kressbeckler's show is billed as an opinion and entertainment program. Yes, And he is. even calls himself nothing but a caterwauling old badger, so right. the claim that he would incite people to violence seems pretty far-fetched. He displayed a map of Congressman Cummings' home in relation to the nearest briar patch, told his viewers where to purchase a, quote, good pulling horse, and used a life-size dummy of Congressman Cummings to demonstrate effective knot-tying techniques. You're right. You know, I think most reasonable people would see that as simply a rippled political satire. Right. Br briar patch is obviously a metaphor for the prickly political atmosphere in Washington, and drag from a horse means something else. Makes sense to me. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free at 855-450-FREE. We're talking about Ebola. There has been a case confirmed in the United States, or so say reports that are being uh, just pointed out all over the place. Uh, the media is, uh, is yelling all over about this. Uh, Facebook, it's, it's blowing up. People are acting like this is a big deal. And is it really a big deal that this has happened? Well, courts... QZ.com says, stay calm and carry on. Why, it's nearly impossible for Ebola to spread in the United States. I'd like to share that story here in a moment, because that has been my thrust so far here tonight on the air, and that is that this is not a big deal. Uh, this doesn't really seem to be that transmittable. Uh, the Wikipedia article about the Ebola virus disease uh, points out that the Ebola virus is transmitted by blood or bodily fluids of an infected animal. But yet somebody just called in at the end of the last hour to say that uh, that there is an instance where Ebola has spread from pigs to primates, presumably through the air. Uh, we can talk about that. And then that led to sort of this fear mongering idea. Johnny Ray has been, I think, joking with us where he's suggested that this is some kind of a bio weapon being foisted upon the people of the earth by uh, evil governments like the United States government. And then in the in the last uh, caller that we had in the last hour, he suggested that this could be an excuse for the government to round people up and put them into camps if they don't submit to some sort of vaccination, which, as I understand it, there is no vaccine for Ebola uh, that, that that doesn't exist. So uh, you are welcome to call up here, bring up whatever you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Of course, the contradiction of that last caller was that on one hand, he acted as though he was so afraid of having the government go around, round people up, maybe go, you know bring out the bear cat and go house to house and uh, destroy people's freedoms over this Ebola supposed threat. But then on the other hand, he wanted that very same government that he was so afraid of to lock down the borders. As though that the same government that would do thing A to you would somehow be effective at doing thing B, but not uh, not stepping on your freedoms. Because when they shut down the borders, guess what? That steps on your freedoms. That's when you know you have a police state. That's one example of why you uh, that when you have a police state. But having I think we may already have a police state, yeah. and um, you know maybe the conspiracy is is that uh, you know this is the way to ramp up the police state. I don't think that Americans need much uh, much of an excuse to to go for a police state, frankly. Well, yeah, it's not it's not implausible to believe that the government could use this and the fear that people have surrounding Ebola and what it could mean uh, that they could use that to ramp up a police state. I don't doubt that as a possibility. But to say that you want that same government to lock down the borders is calling for a police state. You can't call for you can't say you don't want a police state on one hand and then call for a police state a moment later, which is what we heard last hour. 
Doesn't make much sense. No. And regardless of what they say, they'll never they'll never shut down the borders because because the 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 allure of cheap labor is too great. So maybe they'll they'll make a show of beefing up checkpoints or building a wall, and maybe they'll say they're shutting down the borders. But as long as politically connected uh, business people want cheap labor near the border, then they're gonna they're they're gonna be able to get it. It's well, gonna come through. The politicians are gonna help them out. They're just gonna lie to 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 you. About the borders being shut down. Some people are saying they want the borders shut down entirely, meaning that no traffic whatsoever should come through or go through the borders, which is ridiculous because business has to be done. Products come across those borders. If people aren't coming across, products certainly come across. That's real isolationism. And, people yeah. say, people say here on Free Talk Live because we want the military to uh, to you know get out of 130 nations across the world that we are isolationists. Nope, that's isolationism. Right, so here's a story from QZ.com. Stay calm and carry on why it's nearly impossible for Ebola to spread in the U.S. Well, it's finally happened. The U.S. just got its first case of Ebola. Health officials have confirmed that a man recently admitted to a Dallas hospital has come down with a deadly virus, which has already killed more than 3,000 people, as Johnny Ray told us, in the last hour in West Africa. The patient was admitted based on symptoms and travel history. Presumably, he'd been in West Africa and is now being held in strict isolation, say officials. Actually, the story is he was from Liberia. Uh, below are excerpts from an earlier court's piece on a New York patient suspected of carrying the Ebola virus that explores why Americans would do well to not panic. If your Twitter feed is anything like mine, news that Ebola might have turned up in Manhattan is freaking out a lot of Americans. This is a little older. Uh, the bits of commentary include that it's deadly uncurable, has a 90% fatality rate, causes a hemorrhagic fever that eventually leads to a complete bleed out. Today's news merely amplifies the anxiety that's been building since word got out that uh, folks infected with Ebola have moved to U.S. hospitals for treatment. Now, there's plenty of people who should be protecting themselves against Ebola's spread, and they live in West Africa. Those of us who are in the United States should feel comforted by the following facts. Here you go. Ebola is not airborne. It can only be spread through bodily fluids. The virus spreads when blood, semen, urine, vomit, feces, or other bodily fluids of an infected person come into contact with someone else's mucous membranes. This and is just the, these people are just the mouthpieces of the New World Order. <laughs> it's not just any infected person, it's a symptomatic infected person. People can only catch Ebola from someone actually exhibiting symptoms. Those include vomiting, diarrhea, and in some cases, hemorrhaging of mucous membranes such as nose, nail beds, and eyes. In other words, it's pretty hard to miss. It isn't curable, but people survive it. In fact, this outbreak has a 57% mortality rate, much lower than the oft-cited 90%. Victims uh, die of organ failure and not blood loss. Oh, and that pig study they say here at QZ.com doesn't mean anything, which is what somebody had called about in the last hour. Uh, it's disturbing, right? Like the idea that some pigs that are completely separated from some primates uh, somehow came down with the Ebola when, after the primates did? Some people are citing a 2008 study showing airborne Ebola transmission from pigs to rhesus monkeys that were never in direct contact with each other. However, as Aetiology explains, this experiment showed merely that pigs seem unusually good at spritzing the air with coughed up viruses. Avoid Ebola infected pigs and you'll be fine. Nearly every hospital in the United States is equipped to treat Ebola patients and keep them in isolation. And the symptoms, once they're set in, are so aggressive that it's hard to do much of anything except head to the hospital. Yeah. Another reason for all the worry is that the media has tended to zero in on this outbreak's rapid spread and as being the deadliest in history. While both are true, that says way more about the quality of medical, medical care in war-torn, poverty-stricken pockets of West Africa than it does about Ebola, Ebola's virulence. Now, you know, some of these places in Africa, especially Sierra Leone, I mean, Sierra Leone is one of the worst places to live in the world. I mean, it's right up there with North Korea as far as being a terrible place to live. I've never been to Sierra Leone, but I have been to Haiti. I mm -hmm. went to the uh, hospital Al Albert Schweitzer in Deschampal, um, Haiti. And the very fact that I can say those words means that I did it because I certainly wouldn't be able to make that stuff up. Um, and this place was a completely unair conditioned block wall. Uh, I mean, it could have easily as easily been a large butcher shop as mm. a uh, as a hospital. I, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to be mean, but we're talking about 
conditions that are completely unlike yeah. what you think of when you say hospital. Hey, and compare the American response with that of the Liberian hospitals, which are so packed they've had to turn away Ebola patients. The country is running out of rubber gloves, and the health ministry just dumped 37 Ebola-infected corpses in a swampy open hole near a so far relatively healthy village. So these are not first world problems. So I, I have to agree with QZ, uh, their assessment here. I can't say that I'm frightened by this turn up of someone with an Ebola virus in the United States. And I'm not of the belief that uh, Ebola is some sort of bioweapon, because if it were a bioweapon, it would be airborne. Although, obviously, the conspiracy theory is that there is some sort of airborne variant of this out there. There's no real evidence that we've seen for that whatsoever. Could they use this to shut down the streets of the United States? Sure. If people are scared, then the government can use that fear against you. They can, Always. They absolutely can and will use that fear to increase their power. Governments use fear of, as leverage. Now, um, do they do false flags attack, uh, attacks? They do. I don't think they're responsible for 90% of the uh, false flags they're accused of. Mm. I think you can apply um, incompetence uh, to a problem far more often than you can, uh, you know, conspiracy. The Guardian says the Ebola epidemic is spreading because the World Health Organization has had their budget cut. <laughs> All right, we'll come back with more here in moments. 855, 450 free. And yeah, I don't think more government is the solution to this problem anywhere in the world. It's Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Hey guys, if you're into fantasy football, you've got to check out FanDuel.com. At FanDuel, you play in one-week fantasy football leagues for real money with immediate cash payouts. You only play when you want, and you can change your team any week. FanDuel is paying out over $10 million every week this season. And right now, FanDuel is giving you up to $200 free. That's right. For every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it up to $200. Just go to FanDuel.com, click their microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code FOOTBALL70. F-A-N-D-U-E-L.com. Code FOOTBALL70. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country, with a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, Democrats, and central bankers. How can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments around the world killing innocent people? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin is money that cannot be inflated or controlled by any state. By continuing to use their money, you're perpetuating the killing. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available to you now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. It's WeUseCoins.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. So I don't know if there's much more to say about this Ebola thing. I don't think it's a real big deal. In fact, as long as you're not having sex with or being coughed all over on by someone who has uh, the Ebola virus, you should be all right. There's some debate as to whether or not it can spread uh, via somebody who's showing signs versus not. Some people are saying that it can't. Some are saying that it can. So, you know, if you're not having a bunch of sexual partners and your partners partners aren't having sexual partners with other partners, then you're probably going to be all right. Put Don't off, share needles either. That's a bad idea, generally. I'd put that uh, trip off to Sierra Leone, too. Yeah, 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 probably a good point. I mean, it's beautiful this time of year. There's no doubt. But, don't kiss um, corpses. That apparently is something that has... Yep. Uh, don't touch corpses either. That, you know, that could be bad. Don't touch a corpse and then put your hand in your mouth or rub your eyes. I mean, these are some, some basic uh, suggestions that you might want to follow whether or not uh, there's an Ebola outbreak in your area. There you go. Yeah. Never, never touch a corpse and just put your hand in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> So our toll-free number here tonight, 855-450-FREE. With you in the studio, it's Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. And BitcoinBountyHunter.com has bounties available for you right now. And we're not talking about uh, bounty dish detergent. We're talking about bounties you can collect on jobs where you would have to identify some crook. Somebody who might have done something naughty. You could use your investigative skills and collect that bounty. Uh, you can actually go and add to the bounties that are already there. You can even post your own bounty for whatever the case might be. The government goons are not going to be solving these cases. It's going to be done by people like you with the skills to get it done. And you get to profit from your work. Go to BitcoinBountyHunter.com. One of these bounties is worth 38 Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is just about $400 per Bitcoin right now. You do the math. That's a lot of money. Uh, BitcoinBountyHunter.com. 15, 16 grand? Not too shabby. Not not, not bad. All right. So uh, in other news, ISIS, of course, has been in the news quite a bit. The Islamic State, also known as ISIL or IS, it's a group of people who have caused some trouble by taking over portions of Iraq and they've been under attack also in Syria, correct? Uh, they're, the U.S. government's bombing people, claiming they're yep. bombing ISIS. In Syria? Yeah. And, uh, of course, there have been some videos released where beheadings have been proffered as a, the possible things going on in those videos. The beheadings have not actually been shown in any of the videos. So and the the videos have been like sort of by experts said that they you know that there's something going on that there's fancy you know editing so that that's well, the videos suspicious. have clearly been edited I don't know that's how fancy clear. I mean the, the videos I wouldn't say are fancy necessarily I could put I can't a video remember the like terminology that, that they used but um you know that obviously it's been doctored in some manner or another that. If they, if somebody's had their head cut off, it wasn't cut off with the knife that was used in here. There's no blood shown, yeah. that kind of thing. So, Johnny Ray, have you seen any of these beheading videos yet? No, no, I haven't. 
I remember when they came out, uh, I I had no intention of watching them. I had watched the Nick Berg video oh, from horrifying. years and years ago, and it was horrifying because yeah. I because that like, ain't edited, that ain't fake. <laughs> the yeah. uh, M- Michael Savage had played the audio from it on his radio show mm. one night as I was driving along, and and I was horrified and terrified, and I thought, well, I I as an American, I need to see what faces what what threats face America, so I need to watch this, and I watched it, and it was it was horrible. And then these beheading videos came out, and I didn't really intend to watch them. I assumed that they were going to depict a man getting his head cut off. That's what I thought. And then one of our callers called to say that wasn't the case. So yeah. we did watch it. Yeah, and, I, and the, the, the day after I think the first video came out, I was listening to NPR probably, and they did a, a story about how some experts think that the video may not be real, but but all the experts do agree that that Sotloff actually was killed, killed. Yeah. but just not necessarily beheaded uh, as Depicted. he was purported to be in this video. And then now the whole, then now the whole thing is that. totally fishy. There was another one that came out after that where it was a similar circumstance with a, a guy in an orange shirt, a prisoner of whatever this group is, they claim to be ISIS, then the same man with a British accent giving statements about, you know, stop messing with us and we'll stop killing people. And then he ostensibly kills the same guy, but they fade to black before the actual blood starts flowing. He appears to be cutting at the man's neck, but you don't actually He's see any... He's kind of sawing, but he could very well be a rubber knife for yeah, all we know. you don't see any blood, no blood flow. And it only, you know, they cut away, they, they fade out within a second or two of the, the cutting beginning. And then they show the body, they show decapitated head sitting on the back of the body. So it appears as though there's a dead body there. And but, it appears as though his head's been cut off. But, uh, you know, there's no actual video of the decapitation itself the act of it then there was another video which i haven't seen uh but i did read a description of from a different isis group this one is a french or an algerian group that killed a french man that they had and it described the similar video where again it fades and then they show the the decapitated corpse but the more recent isis videos have not involved beheadings they've involved a british hostage named john cantley now it's spelled can't uh, C-A-N-T-L-I-E, which sounds like can't lie, interestingly enough. Interesting man, uh, na- man's name to choose for reading propaganda uh, written by ISIS, because that's essentially what has gone on in the three videos thus far that have been released with this man sitting uh, against a black background in his orange prisoner shirt and looking directly into the video camera and reading a prepared statement. Okay. The first video, which really isn't worth sharing, is basically him announcing himself, talking about uh, why he's doing this, and saying he's been abandoned by his country, and that he will be presenting a series of videos to give their side of the story. Now, there's, uh, there's three sides to every story, right? There's one side, the other side, and then there's the truth. So, well, how much of this is true? I don't know. But it's interesting to hear their perspective on what's going on in the world. Because we're presented with the perspective of the U.S. federal government, most commonly through the main- mainstream mouthpiece media, which basically will say and do whatever it is the government wants them to. Certainly seems that way sometimes. So it's interesting to get the other side of the story here. And it's also, I have to say, difficult as hell to find these videos. Not not as difficult to sell, but pretty difficult. Because the news media writes plenty of reports about these things. If you go and you type into Google John Cantley, and then you look at the news results, you'll find countless stories about this guy appearing in videos. But almost none of the news reports will link you to the actual video. You have to trust their summary of what it is that they say that he said. So it's been somewhat frustrating to actually find the actual videos. It would be nice if ISIS just had themselves a YouTube channel or some sort of (laughs) official propaganda mouthpiece location where everyone could just go to find their latest bit of propaganda. But instead, you've got to find somebody who's downloaded it and re-uploaded it to some place that hasn't taken it offline, like YouTube seems to be targeting these things and taking, taking them down. Uh, So it's been a a frustrating challenge to actually find them, but I've got them. Uh, I've got the the second and third videos here, and we'll uh, assess them here in a moment. Your calls and thoughts are welcome. The ISIS propaganda coming up on Free Talk Live. 
Summertime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes all on sale for summer at herbalhealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Andrew Michael Jones is a liberty-loving activist and participant in the Free State Project. He's also been accused of being one of the administrators of the infamous Silk Road Anonymous Black Marketplace. Andrew is facing a federal trial for multiple crimes with no victim. Whether or not he's the Silk Road administrator named Inigo, he has not been accused of harming anyone. In fact, the Silk Road is actually an amazing advancement that has reduced the overall harm of the black market to both customers and drug sellers. Whether or not he did it, Andrew, like alleged Silk Road founder Ross Ulbricht deserves the support of people who love liberty. Visit DrewsDefense.org to learn more and contribute to his defense. You can donate via PayPal or in Bitcoin, as I did. That's DrewsDefense.org. Drew's family does not have much, and his parents have put up their home and both retirement incomes to secure a $1 million bond on Andrew. He's currently on 24-7 house arrest and is prohibited from touching any device that could connect to the Internet. Please contribute to his defense fund via DrewsDefense.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free. Bring up anything you want here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We will be leaving Keene, New Hampshire. Mark, you and I are going to be leaving here on Friday for the weekend. We're going down to Disney World for Coins in the Kingdom. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, Coinsinthekingdom.com if you want to join us at, at the Bitcoin party. It's going to be at the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista in downtown Disney on Saturday, October the 4th, and Sunday, October the 5th, and October the 6th, everybody's going to Disney World. 
So um, come and enjoy the the speakers and mingle with the Bitcoin luminaries and have a grand old time. It'll be a great opportunity to network, uh, find out a lot about Bitcoin, find out the, the, the new rumors, I'm sure, all that good stuff. Be Dan Elitzer from the MIT Bitcoin Project, Charlie Shrim, who is a uh, certainly a Bitcoin pioneer, Jeffrey Tucker from Liberty.me, MK Lords from Bitcoin Not Bombs, and uh, Jeremy Gardner from the Cryptocurrency College Network. Should be a lot of fun. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Tickets, 60 bucks. Hotel rooms, $100. Kids under 12, free. Fun, mandatory. Come celebrate Magic Internet money at the Magic Kingdom, coinsinthekingdom.com. John Cantley is, uh, was abducted apparently in November of 2012. He claims in his video series that is being produced by ISIS, allegedly, uh, that he has been abandoned by the UK government. And in the the first of what is now three videos, uh, the first video I'm not going to play for you. It's just basically him introducing himself and saying, hey, we're going to come out with more videos. Look forward to them. Uh, This series sort of basically it's a lecture series uh, from ISIS. Do do any of these things... Like, are they meaningful to you when you hear them? Because the only thing that's meaningful to me that I get out of these videos is, look, this is our business, not your business. You keep on coming here. We're going to do what we can to drive you away. And I don't think that's particularly motivating to most Westerners. I think that it sort of sets them off as opposed to, uh, you know, scares them away. So, uh, you know. Have you watched either of these videos? The, the ones John you're talking Cantley? about now, yeah. not, not the John Cantley videos. I'm talking about the beheading videos, which have they have a bit of a lecture that go on um, ahead of time. So I, I, yeah. I feel like I know the flavor that we're talking about here. I haven't seen the Cantley videos, but I have se- I have been lectured to by ISIS um, up to this point. And you know, if I had my druthers, ISIS would be killing s- just the people that are locally, and they ha- they should have to fight their own battles. As far as I'm concerned, sure, um, there are terrible things happening, but I don't believe that a people can achieve like you can't achieve freedom for somebody else. You can't free other people. They must free themselves. And whatever struggle that takes to break the bonds of uh, you know these ideas, because that's all governments and religions are, these ideas that bind us, you know, to get us better ideas, new ideas that fit the new paradigm in a new century, um, you know, they're, they're going to have to do that on their own. That happened over here in the United States in 1776 through 1779 or whatever To a certain it was. extent. To a certain extent, right? Like, to some extent. Now, it's interesting, you look at Canada, no bloodshed there. How much more free is the United States than Canada? Well, I can tell you on the economic freedom charts, the United States is less free. So maybe the argument is, you know, fighting your own revolution and setting up your own government is going to make you less free. Yeah, I think of slavery to government as kind of a dependency, like nicotine dependency, and you can't you can't get somebody else off of nicotine. So true. But hey, you know what? I am. I've been I've been Are off nicotine now? for for probably two months now or something. Congratulations. Yeah, I just wanted to I I, I just wanted to to do it because I wasn't really doing anything else. So um, nice. So you quit cold turkey? Yeah. And how was it? I mean, was it difficult? <sighs> I think it it I was just something that I was ready to do because it hmm. wasn't all that difficult. It certainly wasn't as difficult as it was every time before when it was impossibly difficult. Now I just just sort of made a decision and when you decide and you really mean it then you, you don't go back. Awesome. Well, congratulations on that, man. Yeah, thank you. So, uh and that means you you're not dipping or smoking. You right. no no more nicotine at all. Right. It's fantastic. So uh, b- back to the story here from ISIS. This is coming from the Daily Mail.co.uk. They have, uh, and cr- you know, credit to the Daily Mail. They're the best that I've seen at reporting on this because they'll actually give you, in one of the articles, they give you the full video. In the most recent one, because there was one that just came out yesterday of these videos by ISIS, these propaganda videos, they don't give you the full video in that one, but they do give you the full text uh, of the video. And I, I have found both of those videos. I'm going to play this audio here for you, and then we'll break it down as we go through it. Because it, to some extent, it's a bit of like a rambling screed. Um, so <laughs> Again. Yeah. Uh, but, well, well, Mark, this is different, though, from the beheading videos. This is just 
pure propaganda. This is, you know, just a guy speaking into a camera. But do you believe what, what he says? Do you think that this is coming from him? Do you no, think it's of coming from not. people that are Well, that's the kind of the thing here. Is it's like I'm like I don't know. I, I don't feel like I'm being. I, I, who am I? Who's lecturing me? I, who knows? This may not even be. I mean, who even knows what ISIS is? I yeah. mean, uh, who knows if it's just like some CIA front group? I don't know. I, I think that 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 ISIS is real and they're they're wreaking havoc in Iraq and Syria, but. These people making the videos are somebody else entirely. I don't know who's behind these videos, but I know they're hard hard as hell to find, and so I think they're worth presenting because they're rare. You probably have not heard this, so here it is. This is video number two. This is actually the first actual straight up, this is our propaganda kind of video from John Cantley and ISIS. Hello there. I'm John Cantley the British citizen abandoned by my government and a long-term prisoner of the Islamic State. In this program, we'll see how the Western governments are hastily marching towards all-out war in Iraq and Syria without paying any heed to the lessons of the recent past and how they're using the persuasive approach to lure the public back into the conflict. So let's get straight to the point with a quote from former CIA chief turned vigorous anti-intervention campaigner, Michael Schuer. Now, before we go on with this, and by the way, there's the news articles that I saw about this point out that Michael Schuer apparently was a Ron Paul supporter, as though that somehow means that ISIS supports Ron Paul or Ron Paul supports ISIS. Well, but, this is uh, well, it's it's funny because um, that's kind of the the paint that you'll get from uh, the chicken hawks here in the United States. Well, Ron, who do you think which which candidate do you think ISIS supports or Al Qaeda or whatever? Well, the obvious answer is Ron Paul because Ron Paul doesn't want to fight these people. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is true. The reason that these people are killing Americans is because of the U.S. involvement in the Middle East. We've been saying it for a decade now. Yes. It hasn't changed. Yes, people that want to kill people in the Middle East probably support Ron Paul because they want the United States out. Yes, we're clear on that. But what business is it of the United States to be in the Middle East? To support kings and tyrants? Because that's not the United States as I understand it. The United States as I understand it fought a long and bloody war against a king. And the idea that that country's government, the republic for which it stands, is now fighting a war for kings disgusts me. So it's an interesting thing happening in this video, and that is that it's blurred out uh, at certain points. Now, when it's John Cantley talking to the camera, it's crisp, it's clear, it's HD. And then whenever he, whenever the video displays some sort of image to illustrate the text or to illustrate what's going on, because John's reading a script, so to illustrate the text of the script, it's blurred out. And I suspect the reason for that is because they're using copyrighted images from, you know, mainstream media and that's why these videos are being pulled from youtube because isis just you know used whatever images they wanted to really that's yeah. the reason um, we can't find this news is because oh my god they've used other news agencies clips that's that's what i suspect because i can't understand why the hell else they would blur these these images out this is just an image of a guy sitting so you can see just a blurry image of a man sitting somewhere this is michael uh Shermer, or sure rather here so we're going to continue uh with this here just barely uh, getting into the ISIS propaganda videos, which you probably aren't going to be hearing anywhere else because it's hard as hell to find the actual videos. There's plenty of summaries of these videos in the mainstream media, but it's very difficult to actually find the, the videos themselves. Toll free number tonight, 855-450-FREEZE. We'll see what ISIS allegedly has to say for themselves here in moments. It's Free Talk Live, and you can share your thoughts as well. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Majid lives in Nor Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. 
You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. In a deal policymakers have hailed as a decisive step towards combating the rapidly escalating national debt, the United States settled 1,200 millionth of a percent of its debt to China this week with a single autographed photograph of John Hamm. The sale of the glossy signed headshot of the acclaimed actor, which China reportedly accepted for a financial easement of approximately $150 out of America's estimated $1.3 trillion in obligations, concludes a six-month negotiation between the two parties. The decision was obviously not an easy one. But without question, this was the right choice for our nation's future. And in this week's science news, a distant planet is terrified that it might be able to someday support human life. In other news, a live cow is lowered onto the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives. The majority of an office's supplies are used to apply for different jobs, and a lapsed cult member only attends Sanctum on major bloodletting holidays. This is the Onion News Network. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. You you know, we're normally pretty good at tearing up the propaganda of the U.S. federal government here on Free Talk Live. We're now going to be sharing with you and commenting on the ISIS propaganda which you normally don't get access to because the news media just doesn't seem to be interested in sharing this with you there's all kinds of stories out there written about the isis propaganda videos whether they be the beheading videos that happened uh in in late august and september or they are these newer videos which are not beheading videos but just videos of a man john cantley uh, one of their prisoners wearing his orange prison shirt sitting at a desk and speaking to you in front of a black background. Very simple, very basic. Where do they get uh, these orange prison shirts? I don't know. Probably I, left over from U.S. occupation. Yeah, I'm probably right about that. Um, so he's basically just looking into the camera, reading a script from a teleprompter, and addressing the uh, the audience with the ISIS side, or what is ostensibly the ISIS side of the story. Clearly, we don't really know where these videos are coming from. But they're hard to find on the internet, uh, and so I think that, is one reason why they're worth sharing, because it seems like the mainstream media doesn't really want you to see them. So we're going to continue with those. Plus, Johnny Ray's Game of the Week still to come here tonight. Uh, And we'll be, you know, pausing throughout the video to comment 
because listening to all five and a half minutes straight through would probably be kind of annoying. It does tend to be a bit of a rambling, you know, propaganda screed. Uh, so let's continue here with uh, Michael. They're about to quote Michael Schur, who apparently is a former CIA uh, officer. We've, we've quoted him here on the, the show. Yeah, the name sounded familiar to me. Anyway, this is again uh, British hostage John Cantley, and credit goes to the Daily Mail for actually uh, embedding this video on their website. Uh, so again, good for them because almost no one else did it. President Obama does not have the slightest intention of defeating the Islamic State, he says, which would require the aerial slaughter and boots on the ground demolishing of the Mujahideen. Michael Schuer, whose knowledge of the Muslim nations and the complexities of their society is considerable, adds, 18 years into our war with the Islamists, the US government has given no public sign that it has the slightest awareness of what its enemies are fighting for. Now, there are two solid points here. The Obama administration is so perplexed as they march back into Iraq but they're tap dancing around the issue in a we're getting involved but we're not really getting involved kind of way. You know, airstrikes only, no troops on the ground, limited operation time, no mission creep, all those pre-combat agreements that tend to get forgotten. No mission creep, the they've gone from Iraq to Syria. Well, no, no, you, you didn't hear what he just said because you spoke over him. Hang on, let me see if I can uh, jump it back here. As he's saying, he's uh, he's uh, he's he's going over this list of things that they are saying that the U.S. government is saying. Oh, okay. we're just going to do bombings. No troops on the ground. No mission creep. No mission creep. All those pre-combat agreements that tend to get forgotten after the first six months of nasty, tough stuff. The right. So okay. Right. So mission accomplished. Right. Oh yeah. No, they're gonna continue there's going to be more and before you know it maybe there will be troops on the ground uh and what didn't uh, barack obama promise that he was not going to invade syria during the more recent well, election yes but at this point boots aren't really on the ground in a you know major way so that's probably what he's trying to say obviously they're going to kill right, people so bombing's not an invasion that's the idea <laughs> i bet it would feel pretty invasive if your house got bombed <laughs> So, you know, I think they're they're absolutely right on this point that it's they're saying one thing in the front of this and then what actually comes out on the the end is going to be something else yeah. entirely. Well, I don't really care how many ISIS people get killed in these bombings. It's everybody else. You can't drop hellfire missiles from remote control airplanes and only kill guilty people. That um that's really the the difficult part for me in this is that you, you, you're you running these air campaigns and innocent people are dying and you're just saying it's the costs of war. Whoa. No, it's not. It's not the cost of war. You don't get to decide who dies and who doesn't without having the blood on your hands. You kill an innocent person, you're a murderer. Right. You Be support the killing of innocent people and you're some kind of bloodthirsty warmonger. People in America would not stand for it if the U.S. government's response to so-called domestic terrorists was to bomb an entire neighborhood or an entire apartment building or whatever, that wouldn't be acceptable because it'd be pretty clear that they, okay, we got the terrorist and a hundred other people. That wouldn't be okay, would no. it? So we continue here more with uh, John Cantley. Pre-9-11 Afghans are already back in control of large areas of Afghanistan while the full might of the American war machine couldn't destroy the Islamic State in Iraq before. So now the state is far stronger than ever it was. What is? See, I think that's a foolish thing to do to goad, um, you know, the, the U.S. Uh, like, you're just not strong enough. Well, yeah, the United States could absolutely wipe out the threat of the Islamic State. All they have to do is turn a whole bunch of ICBMs on the Middle East and blow it up and turn it into glass. Yes, the United States can wipe out the Islamic threat by wiping out every Muslim. Well, you know, the, can't do that. the point one percent of the population that uh, that's. Uh, you know, dangerous would, uh, you know, the, cost the lives of the 99.9%. To so wipe out every Muslim, they'd have to bomb the entire world. Well, they'd have, uh, I'm just saying, if you, if you want to wipe out the Islamic State, it can be done. That's what I'm saying. The, the, the United States possesses the military strength to kill every man, woman, and child on the planet. You know, like they can do the judge sure. death thing. And they've, they've eliminated all life on the planet. They yes. can do it. Let's not pretend like they can't. Uh, Scott Horton at 
Antiwar.com says that ISIS is really desperate to be seen as the enemy of the U.S. because without that position and without this 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 place in the spotlight, their neighbors and the people right there in the Middle East with them wouldn't ultimately would not tolerate their existence. But as long as they can be seen as the enemies of the U.S., then that guarantees a little support for them and that they really they really want the U.S. to be at war with them. Let's go to Pete. He's in California. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Pete. You know, and I think, uh, I think the last comment you made about nuking the Middle East, you know, that, I think if you really want to do it, all you have to do is aim an ICBM at Mecca and Medina, and then one day and you're and they, they're going to hear, that doesn't mean that that's well, right. Well, that was but, really juvenile. I mean, were you were you doing an well, imitation of what you think people sound like when they're? Uh, I could really care less about the sound of the prayer. I'm yeah. much more concerned with the sound of the explosion. Um, do you think it's a good solution? Well, no, I don't. I think that it's just. I think the government's really hypocritical, and you know, I, I think I was watching this thing on uh, prophecy the other night, and one of the things the uh, the guy that was that had the visions and whatnot said. He said that, you know, one of the things is all the countries that, that, that the United States has invaded illegally without the Lord's permission, uh, those countries, the Lord's going to use them in justice and bring it back to attack us and destroy us. And that's, that's justice. What goes around comes around. But so no, then you would agree that the U.S. government should leave the, get out of the Middle East, leave the, the rest of the world alone? I agree with Ron Paul on that. I believe that we need some diplomacy, but we stick our our nose too far in too many things. We need to we need to have it in a few things, but ninety five percent of the things we have it, and we need to get out. You know, uh, Pete. Let me ask you this: Would a fair and just yeah. God um, allow the vengeance of uh, you know the 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 foreign invader to fall upon people who didn't support the U.S.'s intervention? Because this is really kind of what concerns me here: is this, this collectivizing? I don't think a fair, I don't see a fair and just God as seeing national borders. He doesn't say that Mark Edge is an American, so therefore I'm going to visit the you know the terrors of uh, of war upon him. However, it's always the poor people that uh, that that bear the brunt, and the rich people, rich old men, walk away. But you know what the thing is, you know what, in the Bible, you know, Israel is an example. They suffered corporately for their idolatry and, and doing bad things. You know, if the United, if we don't, if the generations after generations in this country have not checked the corrupt people that are in power and have said, no, you know, I don't care, you know, and been apathetic and watch sports on your TV, then they're going to, the same judgment's going to hit everybody. Now, I believe that the Christians, you know, the people, the Lord's children, the ones who he chose to save, they're going to be protected, and they're going to have certain things. But he's going to let a lot of us, a lot of us are going to get our heads cut off. A lot of us are going to be martyrs. And, you know, I'll tell you what's coming. From Islam? The, the you think they're going to invade the United no, States? That's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. Saying in the end times, it says in oh, the Revelation the end that the people, a lot of people are going to get their heads cut off. And we're there. I mean, can't you see the writing on the wall? I mean, a lot No, of I, go, oh, all I can remember is Paul. Forever. Is Paul saying that the end times would come soon? And I, to me, to <laughs> me that well, yeah, but it's been two thousand years. That's not anybody's definition of soon. Thanks, Paul or Pete, rather for the call. <laughs> Toll free number eight fifty five four fifty three. We'll get more uh, propaganda. I feel here like from... I've been lied to by uh, you know the myth maker Paul uh, Saul of Tarsus. All right, we're going to come back with more of the John Cantley video here. This is uh, video number two of the series from allegedly from ISIS giving their side of the story. Hour three's on the way. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. 
Talk.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.28 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,208 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $382. Antiwar.com reports the inauguration of new Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani ends months of uncomfortable bickering over the highly fraudulent presidential vote and also the questions surrounding the continuation of the NATO occupation of the country. Though President Obama had initially set a deadline for a troop deal as of December 31st, 2013, that deadline was missed and then some, with then Afghan President Karzai refusing to budge. New President Ghani, whose rise to power has more to do with a U.S. brokered power sharing deal than the election itself, will sign a deal today. The deal will keep roughly 12,500 NATO troops, 10,000 of them Americans, occupying Afghanistan through 2014 and beyond, under terms U.S. officials found favorable. NATO has made a big deal about the war ending at the end of this year, though there doesn't appear to be a significant transition planned between now and January, and the war as it presently exist seems set to continue more or less forever you can support fpp radio by joining the fans program fans are friends allies and numeri supporters fans help fpp afford to produce more original content to learn more or to join the fans program visit fans.fppradio.com that's f-a-n-s.fppradio.com Reuters reports U.S. bankruptcy judge Stephen Rhodes ruled on Monday that Detroit can continue shutting off water service to non-paying customers, saying his court does not have the jurisdiction over the issue and that suspending disconnections for six months could hurt the city's finances. The judge said Detroit cannot afford any revenue slippages before resuming his ongoing hearing on Detroit's plan to exit the biggest ever municipal bankruptcy. He said there was a strong correlation between disconnections and the city's collection of delinquent bills. Detroit's bankruptcy plan includes a $4.5 million water affordability fund and a cap on rate increases. It also creates a regional water authority, which Rhodes said could be put in jeopardy by a revenue drop from unpaid bills. Residents and political activists have asked Rhodes for a six-month restraining order against the shutoffs. Last week, during a break in the bankruptcy hearing, Rhodes heard arguments about the financial and social impacts of cutting off the water of hundreds of homes each day. There had been questions over whether or not the judge could issue an order since his role is to decide if Detroit's bankruptcy plan is fair and feasible, not to oversee city operations. On Monday, he said the bankruptcy code does not allow a federal court to interfere with the choices a municipality makes in services it will provide. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 
The Associated Press reports traffic at Chicago's two busiest airports was slowly returning to more normal levels three days after a fire at a regional air traffic control center disrupted much of the nation's air travel system. The FAA had temporarily assigned other controllers to oversee the airspace, normally covered by the crippled suburban facility, but full service may not be restored for two weeks. A closer look at some key details surrounding the many delays and cancellations includes that since Friday morning, more than 3,700 flights have been canceled at O'Hare and Midway airports, the second and 21st largest airports by passenger volume. United Airlines and its regional partners canceled 1,579 flights. American Airlines and its regional carriers canceled 1,415 flights. Southwest Airlines canceled 601 flights, and Delta had canceled 46. The vast majority of the canceled flights were on regional partner airlines. The FAA said on Monday that the takeoff and landing rate at O'Hare was at 80% of the same time from last week, while Midway was at more than 90% from the same time last week week. Luckily for the airlines and passengers, the area has experienced mostly calm weather with no severe thunderstorms that could further slow flights. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. In a dramatic scene last night, a coalition of the nation's damaged women staged a drunken, tear-soaked march on the Capitol just after 2 a.m. Jane Carmichael has more. Thank you, Brooke. The damaged women began their protest yesterday afternoon, marching on the National Mall at about 4 p.m., and then marching away furious, saying they were done with Congress once and for all. But then they came back again late last night, insisting that someone in Washington listen to them for once. The late-night protest started with tearful apologies, but quickly moved to anger as marchers demanded that Congress pass a bill, making it illegal to say you love someone and then up and leave as soon as there's one little problem. Why are you ignoring us? Stop ignoring us! Why don't you hear me when I talk to you? Wipe the smirk off of your face! No, come back! Come back because we, we think that you... We want you to care about us! I don't need to pay a therapist to tell me I'm unhappy! I know I'm unhappy! This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you may take control of the airwaves here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. ISIS on the table for discussion at the moment. We talked about this Ebola scare, which really shouldn't be scary. In fact, there's really no reason to be concerned about it in the United States. Just try to avoid having sex with somebody with Ebola, uh, showing Ebola symptoms. Try to avoid allowing them to cough all over you. Don't touch any dead bodies that had Ebola. And then put your fingers in your mouth. Try just not touching them in the, in the first place. That would be a good idea. You definitely don't want to kiss uh, the dead bodies. And so there were some, you know, generally uh, some uh, some ideas that uh, we shared about that in the beginning of the show. You're welcome to, to comment on whatever you want here. And the we in the studio tonight is me, Ian. Uh, me, Johnny Ray. And me, Mark. And in the last hour, we had begun sharing the propaganda video, the very first one from John Cantley, uh, where he is, it's not from John Cantley, but he's the only one who can be identified in the video. He's the prisoner ostensibly of ISIS, sitting at a table, wearing his orange prison shirt, and speaking into a camera against a black background sounds like a kind of an echoey room that he's sitting in. Now, who is who was he before he was the front man for uh, uh, for an ISIS propaganda piece? He, oh boy, you know what? Because I, he sounds like a BBC presenter. He is a British hostage, so that much I know about him. The, the article that I have from the Daily Mail doesn't go into Cantley's history. Okay. Um, but if you want to look him up, feel free to do that. John Cantley, C-A-N-T-L-I-E. He had some involvement with uh, the UK government, I believe. So we go on here. Uh, we'll continue the video in moments. But first, we've got Daniel on the line in Utah. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Daniel. Yes. Um, what? How much? How much difference do you think there is between the the killings like ISIS, their beheadings, or killing people slowly through corrupt economics. Well, I think you give, uh, you know, people have uh, a, a chance to sort of move someplace else. They have, uh, um, you know, maybe a chance to turn things around. So I would say that chopping somebody's head off is 
worse than manipulating yeah. the financial markets. But I, you know, when you look at a financial market manipulation is done on. Really, you could just say the whole whole planet, seven billion people, whereas you can only chop so many heads off in a day. Right. Yeah. What do you think, Daniel? That's a good discussion. Um. Well, it's like, you know, because the beheading is 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 so you know fierce. You know, everyone's going to dislike that, but if the whole world is supporting a system where everyone's abusing their neighbor and it's destroying their lives and it's keeping them trapped in a system that's destructive. And, you know, in some ways that's, that's more, a lot greater evil than just a few beheadings. I think there's an argument to be made there. There's no doubt that the, the bankers and the government goons of the world are committing much greater atrocities against humanity on the whole. And that doesn't, you know, I'm not even including all of the, the wars they start, and which results, of course, in more unnecessary death. But, yeah, just the economics that you're talking about. a lot of it, yeah. Right. I mean, that's, uh, they're, and, ke- they're the keeping people, poor people poor. People are, yeah. But the people are guilty of supporting it, taking the bribe and abuse each other by giving allegiance to that corruption instead of creating a, a credit system based on upholding rights. Well, the people are guilty of ignorance, really, more so than anything else. Ignorance and apathy. Right. Uh, many people right. don't even really know much about uh, you know, the money system that they're even involved right. in. Right. Hey, thanks it's, for the call tonight, Daniel. I appreciate concert. hearing from you. Thanks for sharing those thoughts. We've got Matthew on the line in Georgia. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Matthew. Oh, hey. Hey, you're on the I air. Think- I've been looking at uh, all these news people and all. You hear mm-hmm. on the radio, most people, ever since these be- so-called beheadings, I think they're all running around with their heads chopped off. Who's running around with their heads chopped I off? I don't think that uh, these beheadings are really real myself. I think it's Hollywood stuff. Because you think I've so? Because I've been trying to—I've chopped off, tried to chop off a head of a turtle I was trying to clean the other day. I had to keep cutting it with a butcher knife and a hammer, and I still couldn't get it off. I don't sound the cutting with these small knives a head off. What were you doing with the with the turtle again? Cleaning it? I was trying to clean him. I was gonna see if I could eat him. Okay. Tastes like chicken? Hmm, it's kinda of tough. Yeah, tough kind of, chicken. Yeah, I never heard kind of about people eating like turtle. I imagine chicken. it happens. Uh, yeah, oh, do they? Do people? They say turtle is delicious. Right, right. Is that right? I've had gator. I've, I've had gator too. Yeah, it's sort of like a mix difference. between beef and fish. Not much difference. That good taste is just tough. There you go. Hey, thanks for the feedback. Anything else you want to share? Uh, can't think of anything. Thanks for the call, Matthew. Oh, we'll appreciate think it. Afterwards, all right, brother. Thanks for the call. I appreciate that. Toll free number is eight fifty five. That's how it always is with me. What's that? You can't think of anything. I can't think of anything to say. But then when the show's over, then I'm ready to, <laughs> to speak my mind. <laughs> now, Ian, I interrupted you. You were giving out the the the, the number. Oh, yeah, 855 450 free. And you may uh, avail yourself of that. Also, we've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. So, just to bring you up to speed, uh, John Cantley in this first propaganda video, allegedly by ISIS, is going through and essentially saying, you know, hey, the Americans are claiming they're going to be doing this airstrikes only thing, but. Things are going to change after the first six months of horrors, and then you know maybe they'll uh, bring the troops in, etc. Uh, so again, we're going to continue this first ISIS propaganda video because it's John Cantley is a British war photographer and and correspondent. There you go. Uh, not Just anymore. Latest. Now he's uh, now he's the IS- the ISIS correspondent, and he's he's going to continue the propaganda. Ill-advised foray really supposed to achieve, and Shua's second point is aptly made. As ever, the entire reason as to why we're at war with the Islamists and what they're fighting for is brilliantly avoided by all. Senior US politicians seem content to call the Islamic State nasty names, awful, vile, a cancer, an insult to our values. But such petty insults don't really do much harm to the most powerful jihadist movement seen in recent history. However, what they do is sort of a common thing where you have a war, right? You want to talk bad about the the other side, the Japs, you know, the gooks, oh, etc. Sure. Uh, so dehumanize them as much as possible. Now, I don't want to make it sound like I think the Islamic State is a group of good guys who's just, you know, under fire by the, the U.S. and uh, U.K. governments and other governments of the world. Uh, they're, they right. call themselves a state. They're a group of killers, just like the United States government is a group of killers. They just don't have the same influence they don't have the same level of funding 
uh, that the United States government does. So I don't want it to sound like, you know, I'm taking sides on this. I'm against all states. Yeah, I just believe uh, a state is the most successful gang in a given geographic area. The Islamic State proposes to be that most successful gang. That the Western governments were caught napping by the sheer speed of the Islamic State's growth is now a given. Intelligence officials failed to anticipate the emergence of the Islamic State, says Tom Keane, a former New Jersey governor. We certainly didn't anticipate them going across the border into Iraq and declaring themselves a caliphate. Now, he see, that's, that all seems to be accurate. Like, this, this whole Islamic State thing seemed to come out of nowhere, right? It did, quick. Yeah, so that's, that much is true. Obama and his allies were well and truly caught by surprise. The president once called George Bush's Iraq conflict a dumb war and couldn't wait to distance America from it when he came into power. Now he's being inexorably drawn back in, but he's at point pains to point out this is not the equivalent of the Iraq war. Indeed, it's far more complicated and prone to failure. There is a newly elected pro-American Iranian regime in Iraq. They wait eagerly for further American intervention to strengthen the Iranian crescent in the Middle East. But the appointment of a new puppet is an important piece of the puzzle in America's Gulf War III, as it allows them to get involved quickly via a proxy. Iraq's leaders should know that the United States will stand shoulder to shoulder with Iraqis as they implement their national plan, gushed John Kerry on the 9th of September, meaning our national plan to tackle the Islamic State. Everyone now. You're shaking your head, Mark. I'm, I, I don't disagree with what, what's being proffered here. You really got to ask yourself, what is there for the United States in Iraq, F, uh, Syria, these places? You consider what there's been, uh, the $1.5 million for each Tomahawk missile and 250 of them have been fired at this point. Yeah. That's a lot of your tax money that could have gone, gone to a lot of stuff. It's an unending flow of money into the military industrial complex. That's what it is. It's and, what seems to be what it's all about. And the there's unending, nothing to gain. And the unending extinguishing of innocent lives. No end game at all. We'll come back with more of it in moments. Free Talk Live. Hi, Chuck Woolery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. 
Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Ladies, with a U.S. divorce rate near 30% in this job market, looks matter. Breast enhancement or reduction, a tummy tuck, or a little lipo can work wonders on you and your confidence. With hospital rates at fractions of U.S. prices, and thanks to the recent Thai coup, unheard of low airfare and jaw-dropping deals on luxury hotel rooms. Provide a little info. Get a quote. Hit us up at asiarunlikehellguide.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's free talk live, and you can bring up whatever you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, our website, freetalklive.com. You can get interactive there for free and even get yourself a free pound of some great coffee from BuzzBox. Yeah, just go to coffee.freetalklive.com. There you can sign up for the subscription. You can cancel it any time. You can get your free pound of coffee and hit the road, Jack. That's fine. Uh, we just want you to be able to taste BuzzBox coffee because it is the best of the best coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, top 1% great Arabica beans. It's delicious coffee. You will not be disappointed with BuzzBox. Um, but what we do differently with BuzzBox is, is that if you get your, uh, continue to get your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we're working with Kiva to give microloans to people around the world. We're going to give money to people in different countries to help them achieve their dreams. Now, you know, their g dreams are going to be different. In one case, uh, we got a guy who wanted to, you know, get his car fixed uh, so that he could be a, uh, be a taxi driver again. Another guy needed to buy a bunch of old used appliances so he could fix them and sell them. Another woman needed restaurant equipment. There's a variety of things, and this is the hand up these people need. Now, these are loans. They're going to get paid back and then given out to other people with other dreams that can be met. And that's what I really think is exciting about this. And I really love dishing out the money because I'm in control of the Akiva account. I love dishing the money out to these people. I think it's exciting, you know, finding the person we want to give to and loaning the money. The give isn't the right term. One, who we, to whom we wish to loan, uh, loaning the money and then watching it come back in. It's really exciting. And you can be part of it through getting your coffee. That You drink coffee every day. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Makes sense to me. Let's continue here with your calls, and then we'll give you more audio from the second ISIS video that doesn't involve beheading. Uh, this is their essentially it's their first propaganda video that they've released, hosted by one of their prisoners, uh, John Cantley. We'll continue with that here in moments. But first, Alma is listening in Georgia, and you're on Free Talk Live, Alma. Hate to have to defend my son, but he didn't know uh, we're not heathens in the South. He didn't understand to say that it was a soft shell turtle, uh, first one we've ever eaten. My first marriage, they, they loved that stuff. They were from Alabama. You're referring to a call Tennessee. earlier from a young man who uh, was talking yeah, about Matthew, cutting the head off of a turtle. Uh, yeah, it's soft shell turtle. But we only tried one in case things got crazy and we had to find something to eat that we could eat. But it's eatable. Hey, I don't care but, if you're eating a turtle. It's your business. Yeah, I yeah, mean. But, but you can't just eat a turtle. It's called a soft shell turtle. You gotta be careful then, because they, they'll bite. Well, I would hope you'd kill it before you cook it. The bite good. Oh yeah, we did. So you, <laughs> did, did you like it? Oh well, I had to learn how to cook it. I was gonna now, say, what seasonings did you use? 
what oh what I did, I put it in a crock pot and I boiled it go. down in salt water and then I fried it. But I, next time, if I ever have to do it again, praise God, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, uh, so. Alma, now when you were doing this, were you just kind of were you just winging it? I mean, you've had experience cooking animals before, and you just kind of went for it, or did you find some I some don't recipes? Like wild animals. My, it's, I have had hog brains on the table with scrambled eggs, and I have left the table when I was growing up. I would leave. Yeah, that that's, doesn't that's sound very pleasant. Do when presented with hog I'll brains. Some grits and biscuit. I heard you, I said, Alma. That's disgusting. Now, oh, oh, now, Alma was getting ready to say, if you were to do it again, you would do it differently, right? With the turtle. I would, I would cook it longer. Okay. It has to be boiled longer, and soften it up, and all you need is salt and and pepper in it, and just boil it longer till it, like you would a roast in a crock pot, and then take it out and put it on paper towels or something, and drain it. You know, let it sit there and drain for a while, and then batter it up in flour and season it with garlic, whatever you want, and then fry it. Okay. Now, are you doing this with the shell on, or are you removing no. the shell no, first? No, you got to remove it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We had a man that we that comes around. He's from California, and I watched him out the window when my son was working on it. My husband, hmm. my son, did it. I heard him out there. I thought he was going to tear a fish table up bamming so hard because you're not going to cut somebody's head off with a little pocket knife, I can tell you. I've cleaned chickens and many, many chickens, and you had a big butcher knife to get that neck off. Now, I take a, I do three batches of uh, chickens a year, and I can get the you know I can get the neck off pretty easily with uh, – we use a little scalpel knife that uh, has re- – uh, replaceable blades in it, and if you just get it in there in the right spot, you can cut the tendons uh, pretty good. You gotta go down on it. Well, I'll go, go down, down on a chicken. It. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Thanks, Alma, oh, for the, the call. First, I do the appreciate first chicken. The first chicken we cleaned out here, my men, they never been around such. I was raised on it. I mean, we cleaned ten at a time. They went in hard. They were picking with their two fingers. I said, get to plucking. <laughs> Thanks, Alma. Good, I do appreciate like your call tonight. You know what? I love doing free talk live just because you never know what you're going to get with uh, with open phones all the time. Turtle turtle cooking. The tips. reason that I do chickens uh, three times a year is because I want to like sort of keep my hand in it, as it were. I want to be able to remember how to do this, uh, be skilled at uh, you know the the task. I don't actually. I do get the chickens as sort of payment. Some chickens as, as payment, but. Mm. Uh, I don't do it for that reason. It's just sort of, you know, a skill that I want to know. There you go, man. I never thought we'd be talking about cooking turtles on Free Talk Live, but uh, there you go. People cook turtles. You never know what you're going to get here. Food wanders by all the time. Yeah, you know, at least a turtle's not hard to catch. I guess it's just kind of hard to deal with after you've caught it. Really be careful of those uh, those snapping type turtles. Be very, very careful. So here we continue. We've got the ISIS video, and one of the ISIS, there's two propaganda videos they've released so far. This is the first of two with uh, British hostage John Cantley as the host. We continue with some of the audio. Here. It is getting involved. Denmark and France have sent air power. Britain is arming the Kurds. Iran is sending troops. Contractors are being sought in Iraq, and even Bashar al-Assad. Until earlier this year, the most hated and villainized tyrant in the Arab world is being approached for permission to enter Syria. Can the Islamic State be defeated without addressing that part of their organization that resides in Syria? Ask General Martin Dempsey. The answer is no. no. It's all quite a circus. This video is about a week. Airstrikes, the creation of last-minute puppet governments, advisory teams on the ground, wooing previous enemies to join in, and trans-border incursions into a country that's been in a state of civil war for three years, all the while completely underestimating the strength and fighting zeal of the opponent. Not since Vietnam have we witnessed such a potential mess in the making. You think he's exaggerating? No. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Vietnam pales in comparison to this quagmire that the Middle East has been, has been uh, since 9-11. L- this is the longest war in U.S. history, and it's all sort of the same thing. People want to separate it, but it's all together. It's all this we're searching for al-Qaeda thing. 
Now, obviously, if they don't have boots on the ground in this particular instance at the moment, there probably won't be as many fatalities. But what was pointed out previously about uh, the Iraq-Afghanistan invasions was that there would have been more fatalities, but medical technology has improved since Vietnam. So if you just compare raw fatalities of American troops, it doesn't seem to be as, as bad. But on the other hand, more people survive. Yeah. Iraq and Afghanistan because med tech is, is more improved. They'll have uh, ampu- they'll be amputees for the rest of their lives. We'll come back with more on Free Talk Live. You take control. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you got to keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidavi. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live from International Issues 
to cooking turtles. We'll talk about it all here on the air. You just call in toll-free, 855-450-3733. Also, Skype. You may Skype into the show at username lrn.fm, so don't hesitate to reach out to us in whatever way works best for you. Coming up here in just about one month from today, it's Keenvention 2014. It's going to be happening at the Best Western, as they call it, the Sovereign Hotel here in the beautiful Keene, New Hampshire area. Uh, we're going to be expecting a group of a relatively small, intimate group, probably hoping to be around 100. It seems to be on track. It's actually slightly, we're, we've sold slightly more tickets this year uh, than at this point last year. That's, uh, I don't know if it's going to mean that there's going to be that many more that show up, but you never know who's going to show up the weekend of. There are only 100 tickets available in advance, so if you want to grab your tickets for just 60 bucks, you can do that right now at Keenvention.info. Why would you want to attend Keenvention? Mark, you went last year, and you really didn't know what to expect, nor did I. It was our first year last year. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was great. As a matter of fact, I, uh, I, you know, I was just I was skeptical of the whole thing. I thought it was kind of silly. Why do we need another event here in New Hampshire? But I enjoyed it so thoroughly. I attempted to make you, you know, you you spent like a hundred, you were a hundred dollars short or something like that. And I think mm-hmm. I threw in some some number like that just to say good job yeah. because I really thought it was a great event. Um, you know, the speakers were were great. People could participate. You could really get to to meet people and and have an app- opportunity to talk to them. I thought I thought it was, everything I saw was wonderful. It was really warm. I've never been to Liberty Forum, so I I can't compare the two. But Keenvention was. Uh, was was warm and um like the atmosphere the people mm-hmm. that kind of thing yeah and it's and it was cozy it it what does it happen in october no, well october 31st through november 2nd this mm-hmm. year so you know it may not be warm outside uh but actually surprisingly last year it was unseasonably warm during most of keenvention yes can't, it was can't guarantee you the same thing this year uh we'll find out but yeah i agree with you it was uh it was an intimate affair which led to being able to really kind of uh, touch base with everybody there rather than being at like the liberty forum which don't get me wrong it's a great event liberty forums the wintertime event that the free state project puts on it's like a hotel convention with maybe five to eight hundred people uh over the weekend keenvention has maybe 100 to 130 people throughout the weekend and so really at any moment in time if you were to take a snapshot of the room at any moment it would be no more than 40 to 60 people in the room and that uh, it's a small event you know and, and that leads to kind of a different feel it's uh, it allows you to really connect and and people were very participatory we had no problem whatsoever we have extra kind of longer panel discussions than yeah. you might normally find the panels go for 75 minutes instead of 45 minutes to an hour which is kind of your typical panel length which gives plenty of time for the panels to talk gives plenty of time for questions and almost every panel ran overtime as well, just because they were just going strong, and uh, and that's that's why I built in a kind of a long buffer at the end of each panel, so it's okay if you go over a little bit. So the discussions are focused around activism, and a lot of the stuff that happens here in New Hampshire. All of our speakers are are New Hampshire-based activists. They're people who are here with their boots on the ground doing stuff for freedom. Uh, so it's a different curriculum than the other events that happen here in New Hampshire. It's a different time of year. It's a great excuse to come up and check it out here in the Keene area and also get out of the hotel as well. We got the 101 Reasons film is going to be premiering its theatrical pr- premiere during Keenvention this year. So that's going to be a little bit different. The Hallow Keen costume party dance party is happening for the first time this year. So there's some new stuff happening here at Keenvention this year. You can check out last year's Keenvention, look at all the videos of all the speakers and panels and get your tickets for this year for just $60 or Bitcoin at Keenvention.info. That's Keenvention.info. Look forward to seeing you there October 31st through November 2nd as we continue here with more from the ISIS video. This is the first video of two thus far, and apparently there's going to be a series of these. We don't know how many of them, and I don't know if the last one's going to end in John Cantley being beheaded, uh, but uh, John Cantley is the host of these. He is a former photo photojournalist from the UK who has been ostensibly in the clutches of ISIS for the last two years, and they are now using him as their spokesperson. He's reading a script from a teleprompter on a, a black background wearing his orange prison garb, in a relatively echoey room as we continue with the remaining 38 seconds of this first video. Current estimates of 15,000 troops needed to fight the Islamic State are laughably low. The state has more mujahideen than this, 
And this is not some undisciplined outfit with a few Kalashnikovs. We started with Michael Schuer, so let's give him the final word for now. Think what you will of the Islamists and their brand of war making, he says, but they have been in the field fighting since 1979 and their movement has never been larger, more popular or as well armed as it is today. Join me again for the next program. Now we do have that next program, but we're going to hold off on sharing that uh, with you tonight. It's again another five. The next one's about another five minute. That was a five minute video, five and a half minutes. Uh, the next one is about the same length, and it was just released yesterday. And again, it's fairly difficult to find these videos. I did link on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can access all of those through news.freetalklive.com. If you're on you know, one of those things, you prefer to follow us there, please do. Uh, I did link to this video from the Daily Mail, which was the only news source that actually bothered to link to this video. Everybody else just talks about the video, makes assertions about what's in the video, but never actually links to it. It's like they don't want you to see it. It's very strange. Yeah, it was very difficult to get the original videos too, but it's uh, this was even harder. Yeah, this was a little, I would say, a little bit more difficult because it's not that hard to it's find. It's getting harder it. and harder to find these. It's not that hard to find beheading videos because there's always gore sites that are dedicated to putting up beheading videos. So, mm. you know, go to ogrish.tv and you'll probably find some beheading video. Uh, but this is just in this is just a propaganda video, just a man reading a statement into a camera. And that's and it, they won't put it on things like YouTube because it has uh, bits of news items in it or something like copyrighted news items. That's is what, what your I speculation suspect. Is. That's what I suspect. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's the first of two videos so far. There will be more. They're going to also apparently in the fut in future videos be talking about what ISIS is and what their plans are. They what they want. Uh, their their whatever their philosophical basis is. If they have something like that. So it's well, we had uh, some picture we shared on the Facebook page of some. ISIS, what what apparently were ISIS people, sort of uh, bowing to uh, for prayers in two different directions, which makes no sense mm -hmm. for somebody that considers themselves to be the Islamic State. It makes no sense. Yeah, I don't claim to know who ISIS is or who's even making these videos. If it is in fact ISIS, we really don't know. And I don't, I'm not going to go out there on a limb and say I know what the truth is. All I want to do is present this side. I want to, you know, we know what the American side, the U.S. government side, I guess to be more specific, what the, we know what the U.S. government side of things are, but what are the ISIS or the people claiming to be ISIS allegedly saying? That's why I thought it was important to share this, and I think, uh, I think it's worthwhile doing that. Well, I think that they, um, the things that they point out is, is that this is going to be yet another long and costly intervention that isn't going to turn out the way that we're told it's going to turn out, that's going to have repercussions that go on for potentially decades, is absolutely true. And I'm just not interested. The official statements from the U.S. government regarding the war against ISIS always say that that it's going to be a matter of years and it's going to be a long, drawn-out struggle. Of course. They're setting people up to accept uh, a never-ending war. Well, That's what they were doing with the war It's been a never-ending war. I, when has the United States not been at war it certainly has my been, lifetime it hasn't been the case i don't think there's i don't think that there's a you know a situation where it's been at all in anyone's lifetime they've been sending we are at war with the moderate insurgents in syria we have always been at war with the, the moderate moderates. insurgents in syria well, I'm personally not at war with uh, with anyone, but Johnny Ray, they've been doing this for years. I mean, the the war on terror has always been this open ended excuse for ever everlasting conflict, because there's always some new terrorist, there's always some new boogeyman that they can point to, and of course, to have a war on terror is just as pointless as a war on drugs, because you can't have a war on drugs. The drugs will always be there, and as long as you keep destroying lives around the world, uh, there will always be terror to respond to. So it never ends. You can't use an organization that rules through terror to prevent terrorism. Johnny Ray's Game of the Week coming up. Plus, uh, if you thought Rand Paul was a libertarian, wait till you hear what he has to say about ISIS. It's Free Talk Live. More on the way. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. 
They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com and and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Summertime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at herbalhealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes all on sale for summer at herbalhealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here. You're welcome to share your thoughts on ISIS or cooking turtles, as we've discussed earlier tonight. Whatever is on your mind. Ebola. 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. And it has been way too long uh, since we've had Johnny Ray's Game of the Week on the air here. I don't know why it's been so long. I know you missed a week or two, Johnny Ray, due to working in uh, the, the, the theater world. You were uh, the lead role in The Importance of Being Earnest. I took the night off on Thursday last week to go and see it, and I thought you did a splendid job. Thanks, so, yeah. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I had seen you do previous work uh, of a smaller role in a different play. So this was the first time I saw you take a lead role on, which is apparently something you're not unfamiliar with. You've done a lot of uh, theater work in, in your past. It uh, definitely seems to be something you enjoy, and uh, you you really did a great job. I've done a lot of community theater work. Yeah. A little bit. I've I've been paid a, 
you know, on on uh, a couple of jobs. But yes, I'm mostly a community theater actor. Uh, but I had fun, and I'm glad you came to see it, Ian. Um, so I haven't forgotten about Johnny Ray's Game of the Week. And, in fact, I've been wondering, what has Johnny Ray been playing? I figured you hadn't been playing too much because you've been studying scripts and you know practicing and actually going to shows and things like that. So has your gaming suffered over the last few weeks as a result? Or do you still find time uh, to do gaming while in the midst of all of that uh, flurry of activity? It has. Uh, I have been uh, playing my video games less, Ian. I the game that I have been playing I, I'm you know uh, maybe a little sorry to say it not too sorry to say it but it's Hearthstone I I've, I I keep going back to this Hearthstone This is a card game right Yeah it's it's a collectible card game from Blizzard it's based on Blizzard's World of Warcraft their hugely successful MMO Are you an MMO player no. Okay. No, I, I don't think I've ever really even played an MMO Interesting that you before. would have gotten into a card game based on an MMO then. Yeah, the production values for Hearthstone are very good. It's I, I, I'm given to understand that it's very much like Magic the Gathering, which has been around for a long time and is hugely popular. Um, Hearthstone is a... it's it's It keeps me coming back. The variety of the cards and so forth. There was an expansion for it, Curse of Noxramas. So those the those cards that have now come into the the meta game are influencing things, and it's fun to sort of watch how that is playing out amongst all the top players. These new cards coming in and what they're doing with them, and what you can do with them. And it's fun for me to play those those games. I like card games. Now the Hearthstone is a free game. Yep, it's free to play. How do they make money? They sell you like bonuses or something? They make you want to you can buy booster packs mm -hmm. for oh gosh, uh a dollar ninety nine, I think. Now is it one of those games like where if you spend more money you can be better? at it like it's unfair if you spend enough money that you just get unfair levels of cards versus everybody else i think to a certain extent that is unavoidable mm -hmm. because because if you spend money you can quickly get more options than other players have right. but the most people uh stars legendary players of this game have made a point of of racking up wins and getting up on the ladder with nothing but r really common cards that most everybody has hmm. so the 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 good player will be able to win against the less good player no matter what money okay yeah and also one of the more popular game functions uh game modes and the one that i like to play most is called arena and when you go into arena you can buy you can purchase your way into the arena and you in in the arena you play until you lose three times and then you get kicked out of the arena and you will be rewarded with cards and uh, other kinds of rewards like crafting dust that you could use to make mm. cards with based on how many wins you got. And the thing about Arena is when you start, you go through a draft. And and you basically sort of have every player that goes into the Arena has equal access to the cards. So you're coming in, you don't bring your own deck into the Arena, you pull your deck from the Arena, so therefore it's a, it's an even playing field. Yeah, a, a game of... a. Game of Hearthstone is always played with a deck of 30 cards, and when you go into the arena, you are given 30 choices among three different cards in each choice. You pick a card, and then you get another choice, and you slowly you you pick. You make 30 choices. Okay. So you're going in on an equal footing with everybody who goes in. Uh, but Hearthstone is not my game of the week. My game of the week is Rise of Nations, and I'm going back to the well. This is a textbook Johnny Ray game of the week because it's from, it's an old it's an old game, relatively old. It's from 2003. Meaning you played it previously, or is this your first time playing First time playing okay. it. Okay. But it was designed, the team was led by a guy named Brian Reynolds, who created my favorite game of all time, and one I've mentioned on Free Talk Live many times, Alpha Centauri. Uh, Alpha Centauri was a strategy game similar to Civilization, but it was in a, it was in a science fiction universe. And the novel thing... That I, what was novel to me, and what I was beloved about Alpha Centauri is that it had a a narrative, a story baked into the to the mm -hmm. game, which is unusual for one of these turn based strategy games. Now, this game, Rise of Nations, is uh, is this the extended edition re released in twenty fourteen? 
Yes, okay. re-released on Steam uh, a few months ago. Some upgrades, some graphical upgrades, things like that. Yep, you you said it. What it doesn't have, unfortunately, is it cost me nineteen ninety nine, as I recall. For um, for those of you who are Jeez. interested, that is that's cheap for a for a game these days. Even for an old, it game, could be though. argued that uh, that an old game maybe should have had a, a cheaper price tag. But uh, these premier games, a game, a new game, Mark costs of. Uh, Fifty to sixty dollars. Sure, brand new PlayStation Three, PlayStation Four yeah. kind of game. You're going to be paying fifty five, sixty. I'm just bucks. thinking about app t- sort of games. This uh, one's right. downloading. This one's there's no CD. You don't get a DVD or a box. It's just coming through Steam, which is a digital delivery service. So, what's the goal? Is there a multiplayer aspect to this? Or yeah, there is. Player only? There is. I've I suck at the game, and I've I've really only <laughs> played it for four or five hours. Um, it is a uh, a real time strategy game so it's similar to your starcrafts where your units are moving around and it's kind of frantic and chaotic because everything's happening in real time and there's things going on all the time that you need to pay attention to rise of nations was singular in so far as it is much more focused on the economy of the game so mm. So the click fest that you're getting into is upgrading buildings and advancing your civilization down the road to modernity by by advancing your science and your and your commercial skills. But it's got to so be forth. there's got to be combat in this game, right? I mean, yes, yes, there is. You're saying it's not as much uh, focused on combat. It's just I would say I would argue based on my limited experience that it is based more so on the economy. So hmm. if so if you build a strong economy, then you're going to be able to keep up that that churn of units coming out and just battering your enemies. Rather than having um, a very particular and skilled skill-based combat, you just kind of throw your units into the fight, and you keep those units going in by keeping your economy Sounds strong. Sounds like the modern warfare that was established in the uh, Civil War and refined throughout uh, the la- latter 19th and 20th centuries. Um, you know, the fact is is that he who could produce more stuff was the one who won, mm. and that tended to be the United States because they were isolated from combat in most cases. Uh, you know, the North didn't get invaded, didn't factories didn't get burned. What sides do you get to pick? Which side or which country? Who, who, who's there's fighting eight, here? There's 18 playable nations. They okay. all have... Uh, I don't. I think four to five unique units, and my experience has just been limited to the Macedonians, or if you please, the Macedonians. I'm playing a campaign as Alexander the Great. Alexander is always interested me because he conquered a city when he was 16. Ian, you would wow. love that, and um, he conquered the known world. He, and and started conquering a a little bit of the unknown world. So have you been having fun with it? Is it worth continuing? Do you like it? it? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm 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 really enjoying it. It's a lot about territory um territories when your side has got a a a border and a sort of a cultural influence like a lot of the turn-based strategy games that I've played. And if you send your army into the other man's territory, he's going to suffer attrition. And one of the ways that I'm playing the game wrong is I just I set up uh, waypoints inside my enemy's territory, and I just keep my units in the enemy territory the whole time, and they're just slowly withering away. Hmm. And I think what you need to do is build up a strong strike force inside your own territory and then send those guys into raid, and when they start getting weaker, pull back out again and gather your strength and, and then go back in when you're strong. Johnny Ray's Game of the Week, what turned you on to this one? The fact that it was Brian Reynolds, a a legendary game designer, Brian Reynolds, who made Sid Meier's Gettysburg, Civilization II, and Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, some of the finest games ever made. Johnny Ray's Game of the Week, Rise of Nations, extended edition, available on Steam. And how do people fight you in this, Johnny Ray? How do they reach out to you? On Steam, my... Name is Chisharam, C-I-S-H-A-U-R-I-M. All right, we'll see you tomorrow night. Freetalklive.com. Have you? Th- I've been told no in many way? different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you are? Excuse me. There is no video and audio allowed in this podcast. Now, I have work today. This is you ain't gonna make. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared of me. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,221. Silver opened at $1,700.